like, I literally just updated. So we're getting a very, 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 very early first look at this update. Uh, pretty excited about this. <laughs> All right. The Great Blizzard. There's a magical blizzard in Frosted Heights. Consult with Merlin. It looks like it's affecting the entire valley, it looks like. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Also, I'm just going to play the in-game music today. Oh, wait. What is this? A new... A new... Ta oh, bro. What is this, dude? We can spend... Wait. Give your house a whole new look once it's fully upgraded. Bro. I can finally have my castle. Yes, dude. Yes. From the beginning of this game, I was so, so pissed, bro, that Eric was able to have a castle in my valley. My valley. And now I, I have an even better castle. Bro, we're buying this right now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? Give me that. Well, just go ahead and hand that over, bro. Just give me that right now. Just give me that right now. Okay, let's take a look at our house. Wait, do I have, how do I put it on? How do I put it on my house? Olaf can wait, bro. Olaf can wait. Uh, dude, that's so sick. Okay, so now what? How do I make it? And let's see. They really want you buying those moonstones, don't they? Oh, yeah. Now, now, now here comes, here comes the, uh, you know, our game is free uh, mechanic right here. But the game has to make money, you know? Uh, it's going to be free to play eventually. So I don't blame them for, uh, you know, uh, doing some in-game purchases like that. And I'm glad we had the moon, uh, you know, the little moonstones left over. Uh, the Royal Deco, eh, you know, that's all right. The Royal, now the Royal decor for the living room. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Look at that gold trim TV. I kind of want it. <laughs> I kind of want it all. 48 hundred bro oh my god dude how much okay wait a minute how much is that in in game currency oh dang 50 bucks gets you fourteen thousand. okay okay game one. you get five thousand five hundred for 20 bucks so that means that this is like a 20 dollar living room set nearly it's like a this is like a 17 dollar living room set bro i don't really care about the rest of this like this right here though the palace Oh my god, this refreshes in five days. So every five days we get we get new things we can buy with the moon coins. Mmm. Interesting. Okay, that's really cool. Let's check out the star path. We haven't looked at this yet. Um Okay, let's see. Activate and get 100 Mickey tokens for 3,300. Activate premium star path. Do I not get to see the star path this time? Because in the past we were we didn't have to spend the um, the moonstones we didn't have to spend the moonstones to do the star path, but I but I thought we would eventually because it's like a season pass you know but they used to let us get like a, at least a little bit of a look at it, um, but let's go ahead and activate the premium star path so we can see take a look at it here. Uh, oh, well maybe we can't. Oh oh never mind. I, I think I could have just gone down to duties the whole time. Well, I always activate the premium one anyway. Uh, could I have gone down there the whole time? I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. Uh, let's see. We got basic duties here, you know. Uh, but let's look at the rewards. That's what everybody wants to see. That's what everybody's curious about. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay. You can be slapped by Mickey. Now, this is a cool wall art right here. This art deco. That's really cool. Uh, the gentle rabbit companion. I like it. I like it. Very Alice in Wonderland here. That's really cool. Uh, okay, pretty cool jacket there. Uh, we got a little. We got a little Simba. A little Simba action. A little hype for next update. Uh, we got another really cool Art Deco. I love these, dude. These, these two are. I wonder if they have one for like all the main Disney characters. Like you know, well not main, but you know Mickey and Friends. I wonder if they got these for Mickey and Friends throughout. Uh, let's keep looking here, because we know we had Mickey, we got Minnie there, but we're already on page three, so can they, though? Like, will we get, you know, Donald and Goofy in them? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I like the statue, though. That's pretty cool. I wonder how big that is. 
Like, is that going to be like a... I wonder if that's going to be like a large size, like, statue. Uh, the Star Path has its own currency now, said Athena. Oh, it already... It, it always has. It always has. You... you, you uh, it's, it's been Moonstones for the Star Path. Uh, it's been Moonstones for the Star Path since it started. And then you, you unlock... Uh, uh, oh, you're talking about the little Mickey tokens. Yeah, but you, you could buy those. Remember remember it was like the... Uh, we would get the little... Uh, the, the Halloween pumpkin currency. The, the, the currency always matches the event. So the Christmas currency was presents. Um, the Halloween currency was pumpkin, like jack-o'-lanterns. And the, uh, this star path right here that we're looking at is the, um, 100th anniversary of Disney celebration. So this is the 100th cel uh, year celebration of Disney. So Disney's been around for 100 years. That's crazy in itself. Uh, so of course this star path has the, uh, little Mickey Mouse tokens. Uh, so each star path has had tokens that correlate to the event. Uh, let's see, we got a decorative steamboat. Dang, that's a throwback, dude. They're going back to a hundred year, a hundred year old Mickey action here. Uh, Platinum Mickey. Bro, Mickey always gets the, the dapper outfits. He had the, uh, he had the, like, or was it Merlin that had the final outfit in the Christmas one? Uh, those were the only two that got updated outfits. I'm kind of surprised they would do a Mickey outfit. I mean, I guess I'm not surprised considering this is the Disney anniversary update. But at the same time, uh, we already got a special Mickey outfit for Christmas. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping for, you know, another character. I mean, Minnie gets one, which is cool, but I guess they'll be matching. But I, I kind of wish they would have done that as one reward, like you get a Mickey Minnie combo outfit, and then we finally got another outfit for an, an, a different character. But then again, who would they choose? You know, I mean, this is, you know, like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't blame them on that. Okay, let's look at duties here. Uh. Mine garnets, remove night thorns, hang out with Mickey Mouse for one hour. I need to harvest pumpkins anyway. That's fine. Start daily discussions, harvest car harvest carrots. Uh, they always got me harvesting those cheap veggies. Cook uh, 10 two-star meals. Okay. Uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, some pretty simple, straightforward things to get done here, uh, as usual. Let's see if anything is new. Uh... Let's go. Usually it's within village or friendship. We'll have some, like, you know, because we had the special. Nah, this time we do not, actually. I do not see any new uh, <laughs> any new items here. Yo. Danny. Danny, thank you for the resub, my friend. Coming in with eight months of making the content possible over here on Twitch and many more over on Facebook. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, greatly appreciate that. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the stream. Uh, all right, you guys. All right, chat, what should we do first? You know, I'm going to feed this squirrel. I know that. What should we do first, though, you guys? Uh, Rosie said mine's not updating. Rosie, what platform are you on? What platform are you on, Rosie? I can help you with that. Uh, and the other squirrel's right here. Should we just go ahead and head to Merlin? You guys get get started on this quest. Oh, I kind of want to I kind of want to change my house appearance. I did just buy that house castle thing. I want to see I want to see how to change that. Jordan said, good morning. Good morning, love. Hello. Uh, Lady said, hello. So I hope you're having a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so far, so good. I'm very, very eager and excited to be diving into the Dreamlight Valley update. Maybe we change our house appearance inside the house, potentially. Let's check. Expand. No, it doesn't look like that's how it's going to work. Rosie said, I play on Switch. All right, Rosie. So my advice would be to completely restart your Switch. Not just put it in sleep mode, you know, but actually turn it completely off. Turn it completely back on. And then select your game and check for updates. Aside from that, uh, I, you know, that's why I don't recommend playing, you know. Uh, I, I can't really help you because I can't really give you too much advice about playing on the Switch. I do have a Switch myself, but I mainly play this game. I mainly play this game on PC, so, you know. The only thing you can really do there is restart your Switch. And uh, if the update's not there, just... Make sure you're make sure you have a good internet connection. You know, one thing with my switch I run into all the time as a problem is connectivity issues. Um, you know, the switch is uh, definitely an older platform compared to the rest of the platforms out there on the market these days. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you know, sometimes it won't have the best connection, and you might need to uh, get closer to your router or restart it. You know, let's see if we changed 
Oh my god, bro, my stork, my chest look different. Look at the chest. Okay, I can still only buy three Come gold ingots. On. Uh, how many sticks can we buy? 99, bro. Look at that, guys. Look at that. We can buy 900. Oh, we can buy, oh sorry. We can buy 99 hardwood. Uh, we can still only buy five coal ore. I thought they said they were going to make coal ore. And they made a post saying you were going to be able to buy unlimited coal ore again because of how much people like cooking. That's interesting. Gosh, look at all the great stuff I got. Uh, cool cat. I updated mine manually. Woohoo! Yeah! Uh, so I can buy yeah. 99 uh, hardwood, which, I mean, I don't really need to. I have so much hardwood already, and if he's always going to have 99, then, you know, that's cool. Now, the chests look different. How much can they fit? Same amount. Same amount. Uh, okay. I usually just... These chests, I usually just store... Uh, the things I buy, uh, the things I buy here. Uh, the chests look different. I don't know what that means. I don't know if we're going to see some kind of change because of that. Very interesting to see. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll find out, you know. Uh, but yeah, this is, a. Uh... also, what's up with my carrot? It's missing the green part, you know. Is that supposed to happen? Is my carrot supposed to be naked? You can craft bigger chests now, I think, says Katie. Is that how it's going to work? You can craft bigger ones. Uh, let's take a look at the crafting station then. Also, let's see what's in the shop. We gotta check the shop, y'all. We gotta check the shop. Uh, I actually have Greetings, not, neighbor. I've not seen this before, but I know it's not new. <laughs> I don't think it's new, but I haven't got that before. Uh, Hello. I'm just gonna clear <laughs> them out here. Also, look, they have a little, uh, you know, like you purchased it icon here. I've already got that, you know, got a lot of this stuff. Uh, I got a, I think oh, I got the dark version of this. Bye bye now. The L. Um, yeah, we've got that. Uh, okay. I was looking forward to hopefully seeing some new stuff in the shop today, but I don't think so. Wait, has this? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Don't really see too much else. All right, let's keep going out here. Uh, check the gold ones from Scrooge says, uh, what the, oh wait, is it, some, is it something you buy? Hang on. Check the gold ones. Oh, let me have daily conversations as well. Let's have some daily convos. Yeah, there you go, Wally. Greetings, neighbor. Uh, oh, he has new missions. Interesting. Let's do our daily combo with them. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Woo! Woo okay. And we're also going to take a look at... Um... Here, let me play some music, too. Uh, I usually play my other music, but I'm just going to play the in-game stuff today. Or I could always put music over my stream afterwards. We'll see. Uh, yo, Crystal! Crystal says, hi, Sabai. First time chatter, you must be coming over from Facebook, my friend. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's see what Scrooge has to offer here. Uh, let's look at storage. Uh, okay, he's got... He's got the same stuff that I'm used to. Okay. Devs just shared there's an issue with the moonstone chest appearing in the valley. They said leave them alone for the time being. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I've been following you on Facebook for years. Forgot you had a Twitch. Uh, I, I post about it every single day, Kristen. This is why I'm not really streaming bye -bye, on guys. Facebook anymore. Um, because I post that I'm live on Twitch every day. And you've been following me on Facebook for years, yet you've never seen those posts. That's why I stream over here. Because, um, yeah, Reach has been a little bit inconsistent on Facebook. We've had some issues there. So now I'm over here. Uh, but I've been full-time over here for a couple of months. Uh, welcome. Glad you made it over. Uh, there we go. We got medium and large chest. Very nice. So we can craft large chest. That's going to take 5,000 dream light. This is why I told people do not waste your dream light right here. 
5,000 Dreamlight for the large chest. And I said, oh, we can customize signpost? That's going to be fun. <laughs> That's going to be fun. I'm going to write some fun stuff about Eric on that. Um, Darkwood, finally a good craftable for Darkwood, which I've been saving for a while. Uh, and Dreamlight, 5,000 Dreamlight here. We got a reason to use gold, which I have 776 gold, so that's good. Um, the yeah, the dreamlight. That's a that's a pretty hefty amount of dreamlight. 5k, 5k. That means if I wanted to, I could make what 20 of these chests. Uh, well, 22 of these chests, I guess. Uh, so I can make up to 22 of these large chests with the dreamlight I have. But I also that's why I'm also saving my uh my dreamlight shards and i've been i've been pushing this on everybody as well save your dreamlight shards and as you guys work as you guys work on completing all of your dreamlight tasks right like if you look at your dreamlight duties um if you go down to foraging you have to feed all the animals 90 times now and you can i know you can feed them more than once a day but it doesn't count it only counts for each one once per day so when you feed the animals Try your best to always feed them their favorite food because they will always drop Dreamlight Shards. Sometimes they'll drop three at once. Like the last time I fed the Ravens, uh, like yesterday, they dropped me five. No, they dropped me three. Well, three on one and two on the other. Um, so very cool there. Very cool. Uh, but yeah, that's awesome. Uh, dang, bro. I'm going to have to get a lot more Dreamlight. Well, I have a lot of dream shards I've been, I've been racking up for a little while. But yeah, um, I remember when I made my iron video, there was one guy Hello. who said, uh, hey, everybody, you don't have to do it that way. You can just drink uh, or you can just take the uh, pickaxe uh, polish and get more iron that way. And I was like, don't waste your dream light. It doesn't work like that. Like, please, whoever reads this, do not use your dream light for that. Now, if you need uh, gems or the rare minerals, then by all means, like, use the pickaxe polish. But if you're going for iron, use my iron video. Um, right now, that's the best way. Uh, but we'll find out more. Maybe there's a better way now, now that we have Olaf. And if, especially if we open up the back of, uh, if we open up the back of Frosted Heights, maybe there'll be more iron back there. I don't know. Also, maybe Alexandrite. We've been waiting for that for a while. Um, hmm. Alexandrite is one of the only crafting <laughs> materials in the game that we, we don't have access to. So I'm excited to see if we get that today. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, let's look at the rest of the furniture we can make. I I, I do... You know, I am really excited to see um, those chests. I think that's awesome. Uh, let's keep looking through here, see if there's anything else new. Um, not really. What am I missing for that? Oh, wait. Do I have no clay? <laughs> what did I do with my clay? I must have used it to craft something recently. Uh, okay. I don't see any big new furniture items. Wait, what's this? Digging training man. What? What? Fishing training. What the heck, bro? Okay, carrots and tomato and corn. This one takes special, uh, interesting. Can we please do something with purified night shards? Or I mean, pure, yeah, cause I have, bro, I have 1,644 night shards. I need to be able to do something with night shards. Uh, you know, that would be cool. Anyway. Yeah, and it looks like the medium chest. The medium chest only costs a thousand, but it also costs iron. So forget that. I'm just going. I'm going straight large chests. Let's go ahead and make. Uh, let's go ahead and make a couple of these. I'm gonna see how much they hold. I'm very curious about that. I need a good place to go to test these new items. Uh, <clears throat> I need to 
go back. What would that be under? Miscellaneous? Like, the, there's, this is where all the regular signposts are. Here it is. Okay, now do we interact with it? Is that how it works? Interact. Oh, okay, you can just put your own symbol on it. I see. For garden. Or, you know, fishing place. You know? Uh, quest. I wonder if these show up on our map. I feel like that would make them kind of handy. Uh, no, they do not. So there's still no way to ping our maps, it seems. Except for just selecting. You made a book? Yeah, I don't want to use the dream light. I don't, there's nobody I want to change. Gyms. Workshop. Flowers. Dairy. There's all the food symbols. It's all, it's just all the different symbols, really. Okay. Well, custom sign. Okay. Interesting, interesting. The next thing we'll look at is going to be the... Uh, we're going to take a look at the two different, the three different storage containers. Oi, oi, Let's move nana, this. Yo, Cali! Cali coming in with a resub. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. All right. Let's put the three storage containers beside each other and see how they measure up. I like how they all take up the same amount of space, so you'll be able to do the same thing. But let's take a look. We got our original storage container uh, right here. You know, let's take everything out of it. Okay, original storage container. You got 16 spaces. So two rows of eight. I'm guessing the medium is going to be four rows. Yeah, you got four rows. And then the large is going to be six rows of eight. So the large only has 50% more, but I think it costs way more to craft. I think it's going to be more cost efficient to make the medium size as far as Dreamlight goes. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, dude. The large chest cost five times as much dream light. But it only has 0.5 times as much storage. Or sorry, 1.5 times. So, 50% more storage for 500% more dream light. Hmm. Uh, that ain't feeling too good. It might be worth it to have a couple of these in a storage room. Like, for flowers or something. But as far as having your whole room filled with the, the large chest, I mean, it's a flex if you want to do it. But I don't want to burn that much dream light. Is Merlin home? He usually is when there's quests for him. Mickey looks so slick. Are you talking? Oh well, this is. <laughs> yeah, this is this is Mickey's pimp outfit. Um, I unlocked this during the Christmas event. Um, there's a new Mickey outfit called the the Platinum Mickey, but I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like this. I kind of like this Christmas one. You know, I mean, my man is literally like rocking. I believe that's mistletoe on his hat. Like he's just getting all the kisses. You know. Oh, uh, hello. All right, Merlin. What I do. Don't tell me you're the world's greatest wizard either, because that would be me now. I'm House Hufflepuff, okay? Well, I, uh. There's also Blizzard Frost and Honey, but isn't mere meteorological happenstance. That's some big words there. Meteorological happenstance. I'm going to start talking about that when it rains. I mean, like, it's raining, but I doubt it's just meteorological happenstance, you know? Uh, there's dark magic afoot. Magical Blizzard sounds like a job for El uh, Elsa. Well, ordinarily, I'd say yes. And I do mean uh, to consult her. Such a uh, shame. But there's something quite unnatural about the storm. I fear even Elsa's magic won't be able to quell it. Bro, you didn't even let her... You didn't even give her a chance, bro. 
You just are you're just over here doubting her magic? Well, wow. that's kind of savage, bro. Uh what a magical message. What should we now, do? See here. To set this right, uh, we'll need to restore the pillar in Frosted Heights. I knew it. Uh, that should keep all the vexing dark magic at bay. How do I restore the pillar? Uh, I suppose I'll need to find the orb, like with the others. Precisely. But I'm afraid it's easier said than done. The orb has been missing from Frosted Heights since uh, shortly after the forgetting the forgetting How began. unfortunate. And it, oh dear, it's been missing so long that I can't remember uh, which virtue powered its magic. What could it have been? Uh, I'm going to say... Not chewing with your mouth open. <laughs> Why, that's just basic manners and decency, senpai. Unless you're a dog, of course. Uh, not exactly their nature. Uh, are you saying Goofy has bad table manners? Mm. Uh, but whatever powered the pillar, this pillar, was something more elemental. <laughs> whatever it was, I'm afraid you'll have trouble finding the orb. That blizzard means you won't be able to see an inch beyond your nose. I suggest you start by investigating the center of the mystical activity. Uh, you must search the blizzard for the source of the disturbance. Oh, yeah. And act quickly. The storm is growing larger. If we don't stop it soon, I fear it will swallow up the entire valley. Oh, and somebody suggests that you dress for the weather. It's going to be downright frigid. I don't worry about me, Mer Merlin. I'm, I'm, I'm hot, bro. I'm hot as heck. I got nothing to worry about, you know? I got my own heat source, and that's my glutes. My glutes. All right. Okay, come on, Mickey. Let's go. I feel like I should just teleport, actually. You know, let's not run all the way up there. We're going to find what we're looking for. Just because it's a blizzard doesn't mean I can't feed my favorite little foxes, am I right? There you go. Give me my dream shard, though. I want all those dream shards. Why were there music notes on Mickey for a second there? Does that happen when they sing now? Dang it, bro. Night shards. All right, I'm going to feed this fox, too, and then we're good. Snow family! Oh, snow family. Olaf's gonna be joining snow family. And let's grab, let's get this guy here. Plus two. Oh, you know what, Brad? I saw the update about the golden doorknob. Also, look at these. Look at the northern lights here, man. That is so gorgeous. Um, Brad Yoakum said that the golden doorknob is actually where Merlin's house used to be. I'm going to see if mine's there, too. Then we'll come right back here. Uh, I didn't know foxes like fish said expo, expose. Uh, yeah, so expose. They will eat anything out of that biome, out of the water. They will eat anything out of the water in that biome, but their favorite is the white sturgeon. And if you feed them white sturgeons, they will drop dream shards. If you feed any little animal its favorite, uh, you will always get dream shards in return. So I, I like, and now with this new update, we finally have a major reason. We finally have a major reason to be dropping dream shard or uh, to be harvesting dream shards. There it is. Well, 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 look at that. The golden doorknob. We're about to get Mirabel. That is the Casita doorknob from the Encanto movie. Very cool. Very cool. I wonder how big Casita is gonna be, like in the game. You know, because I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's gonna be pretty big. Uh, but then again, they always kind of shrink things down in this game. I feel like, also. 
Perk up. Perk up, pumpkins. Okay, let's go back. Uh, let's talk to Merlin about that doorknob, too. And then we'll continue. I hope he's still home. Ah, yeah, he is. I wonder if he's going to know it's magical. Oh, hello. A golden doorknob with an M engraved on it. Now, this may not look like much, Senpai, but it's proof your efforts against the forgetting are bearing fruit. I found this lying around the village, I said. Uh, I'm going to say, who does it belong uh -huh. to? Why this belongs to a charming young lass named Mirabelle Magical. Uh, you wanted her to feel at home, so with my help, you enchanted her house to remind her of where she's from. Uh, the enchantment gave the building the power to reflect Mirabelle's kindness and energy. But even <laughs> so, we never expected... <laughs> Mini, mini casita. Okay. I had people in my chat that were like, you got to make a big area for the, for casita. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be too, it's going to be so big. I'm like, I think it's going to be the same size as all the other villager houses, to be honest. So that's why we have mini casita. Uh, okay. Interesting. Well, now, so, you see. When the forgetting struck Mirabelle, like many of us, started to lose her memories, then one morning her house wasn't there anymore. Uh, I quickly went to investigate, and what I discovered astonished me. To protect Mirabelle, her home disappeared into a small universe of its own. Finding this golden doorknob can only mean one thing. Mini Casita is considering coming back. But first, you'll need to prove to it that the valley is safe once again. Uh, how do I prove that to a house? <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry, you'll find it's rather simple. Now, uh, houses believe in deeds, not words. And houses often come to resemble their inhabitants. Uh, to prove the value is safe for Mirabelle, you'll have to embody Madrigal's values. Uh, what are Madrigal's values? Uh, well, I'm told they always believe in bringing their village together to help the community. And I remember Mirabelle checking in on everyone here to ensure that their needs were fulfilled. Uh, oh, and she also became quite fond of photographs, if that helps. Uh... As for making sure everyone's needs are filled, I could check what the villagers need and give them some gifts. Fine ideas indeed, and by why simply engaging uh, some of the villagers in conversation might be enough. Uh, after all, everyone appreciates uh, being thought of. Uh, take this golden doorknob and fuse the dream. Uh, so the more acts of kindness you perform, the more magic it will gain. Once it has enough, Mini Casita will return. I'll give you this a trial run. I'll talk to you once I'm done. Oh man, Thank I already you. did. I already did daily convos with eight people. Huh. Dang it, bro. Uh, okay. Let's continue here. Aquarius. Not only did uh, the Star Path Shop. Uh, well, there's not. It's not even the Star Path Shop. There's now a item shop where you can upgrade your house. That's not even part of the star path. That's just a completely new mechanic. Uh, we 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 bought the we bought the castle house right off rip today because it was freaking awesome. Uh, I'm about I, I still haven't activated it. I'm not even sure how to activate it, which I might go ahead and do right now. Uh, Hello. If all I'm supposed to do is uh, give okay, gifts to everybody, I should be able to get Mirabelle very quick. Um. Because we can, we can get everybody's favorite gifts brought to them in one day. Uh, I think we'll do that today for sure. All right. Yeah, I want to see how to change my house. Uh, so, let's see. Because uh, I know if we go to collection, like, we had the option to change... Uh, I know if we went to collection, we had the option to change the look of our villagers. But how do we change the look of our house? You know? Because um, I bought, in the item shop, I bought this. And this also refreshes every five days. So in five days, we'll have new stuff to buy. Um, hmm. Made me go to the house and decorating? Yeah, possibly. But why, you know, why would you need to be inside to change the outside of the house? But then again, I mean, that that could work. I would think it would be somewhere in the in 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 the menu, but you know, or outside of the house, you know. 
maybe there's a way with the mailbox or something. No, it doesn't tell you. Or maybe if we're outside the house and we go to decorating like this, like furniture. Uh, replace? Oh, uh, there we go. Oh my god, that's massive, bro. Let's go. Oh my, oh my god, dude. That's so sick. What the hell? I'm gonna have to redo my area here. Uh, that is a big house. So... Yeah, we're gonna have to redo this a little bit. Uh... Nice. That's that's massive. I'm also gonna I'm gonna have to make a new area here. Um, we're definitely gonna want to redo this. Uh, whoops, not mean to do that. Oh my god, bro! I'm just trying to pick that up. Yeah, we're gonna have to adjust. We're gonna have to adjust a little bit here. And I might even get rid of that back wall. Yeah, let's get rid of this for now. I'll redo the rest of this later. I just want to put this here for now. And I definitely don't want it right up on the edge, but maybe like this. That is a beautiful, beautiful house though. See, this is the kind, this is, this is what we should have had, you know, with Eric coming into our valley with his castle thinking he's all great now. Look how you like me now, Eric. You know, you thought you were so special. Guess not, bro. Enjoy your tiny little rinky-dink castle, I guess. Like, cool castle, dude. That's <laughs> Where'd you get that? Like a, like a toy box or something? Okay. Oh, uh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong brick. Whoops. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move this over real quick. I'm going to fix the brick under this. And then we'll redo our house area later. You know. We just finally got what we deserved, you know. Ever since Eric showed up. In my valley with his castle while I lived in this ugly yellow house. I was very, very, very unhappy about it. And, uh, you know, now we finally we finally have exactly what we deserve. And that's a, that's a beautiful, beautiful new home. I will be redoing this fencing because this doesn't really fit with a castle. So I'm probably going to get rid of this fountain here too. I'll probably get rid of the one on this side here as well. We're going to do a little bit of adjustments. All right. Brittany said, wait, how did you do that to the house? Well, you have to buy... So you go into the item shop and you buy the castle. And then you come here. You come to the house. And then you go to furniture. You select your house. And then there's an option uh, right here next to me that says replace. You do that. And you can choose different colors. But yeah. All right. Yeah, Hope, they, they finally did the, the door thing, which they really needed to do like forever ago. Come on, Mickey. We got stuff to do, bro. We're busy today. All right, let's go get Olaf. And after we get Olaf, we're gonna need to give everybody gifts. Uh, I'm not able to feed critters for some reason. I don't know if it's just me. I'm playing on PC Game, pa uh, game Pass. Huh. I've been able to feed my critters today, but I hope that uh, I hope that gets fixed for you. There's something here. Interact with the wall of the cliff. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, uh, T, I got the, uh, I got the doorknob. It's in the meadow where, uh, it's in the meadow where Hi, it's me, Merlin's Ola. house was when we started the game, or close to it. Uh, oh, you found me. Uh, hooray, that means I'm it. Yay! Now it's your turn to hide. My advice, uh, choose a good spot. Anna says, my finding abilities are epic. Uh, Olaf? 
Sipai, it's you. Wait, you look taller than I remember. Uh, I suppose last time we saw each other was a long time ago, way back before the forgetting. Mm. Does that mean you're all grown up now? Uh, that's right. Mm. Well, I hope you're not too grown up to finish playing our game. Mm. Now it's your turn to play hide and seek, ready? Uh, but first, let's see. I'll just go straight to it. Uh, I'll say what happened to you. <laughs> well, I followed you in here one day. There was a bright flash <clears throat> of light, and then you were gone. And I remember, oh, and I've been here ever since, mainly because I couldn't get out. That's sad. That's awful. Mm -hmm. Well, I did get lonely, and I missed you and all my friends. <laughs> Bro's just making me feel worse. Uh, but I've composed 12 epic novels in my head while I've been here. It's a series. I'll recite them to you later. <laughs> Bro. I mean, that's one way to use your time, I guess. Uh, you know I'm not exactly sure. I think maybe it used to be your special room. My special room, what do you mean? Well, you came here when you wanted to be alone uh, to get away from all the complexities of life, ponder the meaning of the universe. It sounds like me. Uh, uh, there's so much strange magic in here. I wonder uh, where it all comes from. As do I. This uh, truly is a chamber filled with mysteries. A uh, magical blizzard that's threatening the whole village. Oh. Uh, I very much want to help, but first I need oh. assistance myself. Uh, probably notice I'm missing my nose, buttons, and arms. Uh, I don't want to make a big deal about it. Uh, thank you. That was very polite. Uh, I'll help you get your parts back. Okay. I think I saw squirrels carrying them off. All right, silly me. Those squirrels are my friends. Uh, did you know there are 200 species of squirrels? Uh, did you know that the most common... Squirrel in Ohio is the flying squirrel. Huh? They're nocturnal, so you never see them. Uh, but the ones here don't look like squirrels. I've seen them before. They're mysterious and glowing. <laughs> Still, they look. They like to play uh, keep away. Okay. <clears throat> Especially for the squirrels. Uh, <gasps> ran right out with my buttons. Okay. Let's chase down some squirrels. Hands so. down, this is the best day of my life. I wonder if this is... You guys know we found... We found, uh, ain't, like, old letters from the sh uh, our shadow selves. I was reading through them the other day. If you go into your collections, they're pretty sad, actually. Like, really sad. I wonder if these are from... I wonder if these are from that shadow person. Or it's, like, the sad part of ourselves. It is. It is. It always is when it looks like that. Uh, I left something in here. Something I need. I know it's here somewhere. I need it to tear down the wall. Yeah, if you go through your collection and read all these, they're like... I mean, you, you probably read them as you've done the story, y'all, but I went through the other day, and I actually read all of them. Um, they're all down here near the bottom, and they're all pretty sad. Uh, they're, you get them when you when you do the pillars. Uh, loneliness is, is safe. If I'm alone, then no one can ever leave me again. Like, that's fuck. Oh, that's that's really sad. <laughs> that's sad. I cannot sleep. Uh, the vines will grow around me. As I walk, they grow in my footsteps. Uh, I feel like there's a hole inside of me. No. I feel like I am mostly a hole. With just a small bit of the person I once was. I'm only enough of a person to feel alone. Like, bro, that is heartbreaking. Like, that's, <laughs> that's so dark. Loneliness is sharp. It cuts me like glass in my fingers. But it's much more awful than broken glass because I cannot see it or avoid it. Loneliness is cold. My mind is numb with solitude. My thoughts are sluggish and dull. I think I could warm myself if I could talk to someone, but there's no one here. I fell asleep under a tree. When I woke up, I couldn't move. Purple vines had grown around and over me. Their thorns cut me, but they could not cut me as painful as painfully as loneliness. So I pulled myself free. Yeah, all those notes are quite tragic. I think that the forgetting is like a is a sad and hurt part of you. 
It's not working. Nothing is working. It must be the pillar's magic stopping me. Interesting. There's another one. I have to tear out the orb to cast my spell. There's no other choice. Okay. Ooh, pretty. There's another one. There's two more here, actually. The spell, it went wrong. Need to find somewhere else, somewhere quieter. Might need to rip out all the orbs to do this. Hmm. Uh. It's only when the lights are on that I realize my life is dark. And here I'm safe. Okay. So. So in order for... Oh, there's one more hidden back here. I try to make friends with the villagers, but it's like there's a wall between us. Like something is broken inside of me. I should not, like, feel... <laughs> Bro, just... You know, chase down the scary squirrels. I like that they call them. Hey, get over here, you scary squirrel. I got him. I got Olaf's uh, buttons, I think. Chase down the scary squirrels. Where are you? Scary squirrel. Buzz, I need your help. Be a hero. Fox, I fed you fish. Help me find them. Yeah, thanks, Fox. Thanks a lot. Oh, uh, hi. Oh. I wonder if the scary squirrels are all going to be around here or if they've just we'll ran all okay. over the valley, you know? Oh, my God. Good morning. You guys, I saw a TikTok. Hey, there's one. Come here. Hey, gotcha. Give me that nose. I got your nose. Okay, there's one more. There's. I saw a TikTok on how to... Uh, how to summon a squirrel. There we go. Return to the secret chamber and bring all of his nose and buttons, okay? That was quick and easy. Not difficult. There you go, Olaf. You feeling better, buddy? You feeling better? Oh, so glad you made it. <laughs> Brandy said I laughed so hard at I got your nose. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, what else do you say? <laughs> What else do you say when he grabs one's nose, you know? Uh, you got my nose and buttons back. Thank you. I'll feel much more like myself now. Uh, did you know that squirrels use their tails to help them balance in high places? Yeah, I actually knew that. Yeah, I did know that. That's cool. Oh. Uh, and now we have one to add. Are you ready, little nose? Let's put you back where you belong. Okay. Uh, this is so much better. Uh, gives you a warm hug to say thank you. But I'm still missing my arms. So that would be difficult. Where could those be? I just remembered it's not only my arms that are missing. They were uh, holding something when I hmm. lost them. Some kind of orb? Oh, my God, Olaf. Uh, so we find your arms, we find the orb. Okay. Uh, I don't know what happened to the orb. As I said before, all I remember is a flash of light. Next thing, I knew my arms were gone. Uh... Well, I don't remember. Maybe the water remembers? What do you mean? Uh, the water has memory. Uh, it's disputed by many, but it's true. Uh, okay. Elsa, that's it. She's very good at helping water show us what it remembers. Uh, let's talk to Elsa. Okay. Time to go see Elsa then. All right, all right. When I said I outright snorted over, I got your nose comment. I'm at work right now. <laughs> so fun to explain. <laughs> You're like, what are you laughing about? You're like, oh, it's just this guy. <laughs> got someone's nose. All right, let's find Elsa. You would think, bro, there's a huge blizzard 
in Frosted Heights, and she's down here having lunch. You would, you would think, you would definitely think she would actually be here. Oh my god, my house looks so cool now. All right. You want crackers. There is a horribly dangerous dark magic blizzard. And you want crackers. I'll make you some crackers. That's new music. Hi there. Hey. Here's some crackers for you. You know. There you go. Oh. Yeah, it's bigger now. I hope we like, can talk again. Look at this. There's even beautiful pictures over here. Look at this beautiful photo. Or painting, or whatever. I think they had to make it a little bit bigger since they're bringing more villagers in, you know? Hello. Mm. <laughs> yes! Uh, okay, Olaf, what a relief. We've been worried about him. Yeah, he's helping yes. me. Uh, good, what did he tell you? His arms are missing. Uh, he has the, His arms <laughs> have the orb. Oh, it can be a bit of a genius, but I'm not sure my powers will help. Whatever happened may not be tied closely enough to me. <laughs> but you might be able to do it. In the past, your royal watering can could draw memories held by the water. Uh, maybe we'd explain, find out what happened to the orb with the watering can power. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade my watering can, it seems. Investigate the pillar in Frosted Heights. Okay. There was a... Okay, let's go right back there. Uh, there was a spot there. There we go. Hey, look, it's, it's the dark me. It's the dark me that writes very sad letters about loneliness. Talk to Elsa about what you saw. She's still eating crackers? Yes. She's still eating crackers. All right, Elsa. Hi there. I saw the Forgotten taking an ore from the uh. pillar. Well, I spent a lot of time talking to Merlin about the magic in this village. Uh, he told me that the pillars have protective charms on them to keep dark magic mm. at bay. Maybe the Forgotten wanted to uh, to try using more dangerous kinds of magic, and the pillar's protective aura was stopping that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, well, that's what the letter said that we found. Uh, there's something I need to tell you. The Forgotten, they're part of me, some kind of splinter of myself that I left mm -hmm. behind. I see. Well, I know that magic can do things like that. Olaf is a part of me, and he's sweet and kind, but so is Marshmallow, a much larger snowman I created. He's, let's just say, very protective. Uh, so if the Forgotten wanted to mess with dark magic, does that mean I did too? Uh, I would never mess with dark magic. Um, it's the only thing that makes sense. It definitely sounds like something I would do. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it does. Well, you do seem to be a curious person. Sometimes things call to you, and you just have to follow. Yeah, so there's nothing wrong with using a Vata Cadaver to kill your professors. I mean, there's... Dark magic can be good if used properly. Maybe that's uh, the part of yourself that the Forgotten represents, all that curiosity. But this would mean that the blizzard, the forgetting, could all be my fault. Mm. No, Sabaya, this isn't yes. your fault. Trust me, when it comes to starting Magical Blizzard that threaten to swallow up everything and everyone that I love, I've got a little experience. Magic and emotions can make unintended things happen. Uh, 
the more you know about your magic, the more you'll be able to control it. <laughs> what matters now is that you're here trying to fix this. And I guess you're one step closer to doing that. Uh, in the memory, it looked like Olaf saw the Forgotten running off with the orb and then followed him into the mm -hmm. secret chamber. Uh, then I think you'll find the rest of your answers inside. Uh, go look at the memories fun. inside the chamber. I knew that's what we we're going to have to do next, but we had to go talk to her first. Uh, tempting to buy the new shop item, says Hope. Uh, don't you have some moon coins? I bought the pa the palace. You should have moonstones since you bought the game. Uh, there we go. I mean, I, I would definitely at least buy the palace one. I don't really care much for the new furniture. I mean, it's cool, but um, I'm sure there will be some other cool things. It's me, Ola. Yay! Uh, the Forgotten but it looked just like you. Uh, the Forgotten has my face. Uh, some part hmm? of magical splinter of me. Oh, like I'm part of Elsa. How fascinating. I guess it's sort of like that. Well, I certainly thought the Forgotten was you when we were playing hide and seek. You've been missing for a long time, but we were still in the middle of a game. So I followed uh, the Forgotten so I could tag you and then finally came back <laughs> to the village. Uh, and then I saw the Forgotten had dropped that shiny orb, so I picked it up and came in here to give it back. Uh, but when that <gasps> happened, I don't remember. Uh, but you can use your watering can to find out. Oh, thanks. What if, what if I <gasps> ripped off... So what if I ripped off Olaf's arms and 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 nose and buttons? What if I ripped this man apart for for picking up the orb I wanted? He has a very rip apartable face though. I wouldn't say I didn't or couldn't do it. Okay, let's find out. Bro looks like he's about to hit him with a Hadouken or something. Oh, did I drop it? Or did I throw it? It's kind of hard to tell. Olaf will explain. Hello. Wow, did you see that? I must have interrupted the Forgotten while they were casting some sort of magical enchantment. And uh, the orb made the magic go wild in here. That must have been the flash I saw. Uh, so this chamber, it must be the Forgotten's. And it was the Forgotten who locked you inside of here. Uh, I hope you learned a lesson about barging into secret chambers. <laughs> Bro, these options. Okay. I'm going to say, you know, I'm also going to move myself. I want you guys to be able to read these options because they're funny. Like, look at that. <laughs> I hope you learned a lesson about barging into secret chambers. <laughs> I've learned many lessons, including that it's a great way to find new hiding spots. No, that's not the point, Olaf. That's not the point. Uh, with my arms still attached, but on a bright side, now we know where the orb is. Someone with arms can reach inside the portal and grab it. I volunteered to do it myself, but I don't have any arms. Uh, the portal keeps flickering. Something's wrong with it. I don't think it's safe to just reach inside. Maybe there's a way to fix it in one of these books. Since my arms are missing, I couldn't turn the pages to read them, but the titles are very oh. interesting. They're all about magic, casting spells, making things float, how to open portals. Did you just say how to open portals? Oh, oh yeah. How to open portals? Yeah, we need to open a portal. Uh, I guess I'll need to find that book. Okay. Hands down, this is the best day of I my I did not life. mean the water of the book. Bro just said hands down, this is the best day of my life, and he doesn't have hands. I, yeah, Janice, I think he is trying to guilt trip me about not having arms, to be honest. He just said he couldn't reach in because he doesn't have arms. And that's my fault. And he also said, this is hands down the best day of my life. Like, I get it, bro. It's my fault your arms are gone. And your face. But listen, it's all coming back together, okay? All right. We got the books. I think we just need to read them. Oh, oh okay. hi! 
You found a book. Is it the one we need? You'll have to read it to me since I can't turn the pages. I get it, Olaf. I get it. Uh, so you want to... <laughs> the name of the book, bro. Okay, it's called... So you want to open a dark portal. <laughs> How conveniently specific. It sounds like exactly what we're looking for. Uh... I'm gonna let you guys see the. I'm gonna let you guys see the things again here. How conveniently specific. Uh, I'm gonna say, not a very imaginative title. Titles can be hard. I went through at least three dozen for each of the novels I've composed in my head while I've been here. This book. Uh, this must be how the forgotten learn to open up all those portals in the first place. No wonder they've been popping up oh. everywhere. Uh, are you going to read? Mm, according to this, we'll need something called a dreamlight prism to fix the portal. Uh, there's a bunch of broken glass on the floor there. Uh, I'll bet they're forgetting, uh, they've forgotten. Uh, try this too. Uh, maybe if we gather up the pieces, place the parts, we can get my arms back. Oh, and the orb, can't forget about that. Uh, we'll need some glass and some purified night shards. Uh, but once I fix it, uh, okay. I have, dude, thank God, I have so many purified night shards. Can we just use those? Don't worry, Sabai, I'm sure you can find out what to do. Uh, finally, it says we need to whisper one of my darkest fears to the portal to seal the spell. I guess I should start thinking about what I'm afraid of. But for now, I'll start by making the Dreamlight Prism. Oh, thanks. Ah, this makes me so happy. Uh, scattered Prisms. There we go. Yo! We just got a follow from the sexy Warzone Queen. What is up, my friend? Welcome, welcome. The Queen of Warzone. I hear something sparkling over here. It sounded like. That looks pretty that looks pretty cool. Alright. Well, yeah, now we just gotta go get some purified night shards and we're good to go. This looks awesome too. Look at this. Also, look at all the writing on the wall. Can we just take a second to appreciate this, like, environmental construction they've done here? This is really cool. It looks like he tried a bunch of different gems to, like, get them to work. A bunch of different rubies and gems to see what worked for the spell. I don't know what all that was. And the way the, the, the night thorns are just, like, like, piercing in here. Very cool. And I guess this is where we put the item once we make it. Also, these things, like, clipping through the wall... That's pretty crazy, too. Playing the game. I love this uh, new update. Dreamlight Valley is fire. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the game myself. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, I've, I've really loved the game. Uh, I've been playing it since launch. The past week or so, I've been, uh, I've been playing some other games, but... I've, uh, yeah, I've, 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 I've loved this game since launch, and I have, um, so far, um, I've come pretty far, like, I got my well at the max level, like, I got the level, the level five well. I bet we're gonna be able to make it even bigger. I bet we're, I bet we're gonna be able to make it level six eventually, um, when we're done with all the tasks, because I, I think it goes to level five oh, when you're ninety percent done. But we can't. You. Nobody can be a hundred percent done with tasks yet because we don't have enough villagers for that. At least not yet. This is where everything is forced to pop up. That's what I was looking for. I would really like some more dream light shards. Dang it! I keep getting night shards. I don't want those. All right. Uh, well, I have glass. I just need to make purified night shards. I think five. There we go. Yeah, I've been making a lot of content for the game too. I um I even made a really, really crazy iron gathering tutorial. Uh I have almost eight hundred iron now. Uh and I just got that in a, like a, just a couple days. I was able to find a method that gets 200 iron ore. Uh, 200 iron ore per half hour. That's 100 iron every 15 minutes if you, uh, you know, you have good RNG and use the, the method uh, properly. It works well. Place the Dreamlight Prison in the chamber. Okay, back we go. 
Uh, and I've also done... I do tours, too, on YouTube. I've done a YouTube tour of my plaza, uh, my dream garden in the meadow, and my Dazzle Beach. And those videos have done really well. Um, I'm going to be uploading the footage from this today to YouTube as well, by the way. Hi, YouTube. Hello. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Oh, wait, no. It's back here. Let's drop it on this thing. All right. Figure out which gems are missing in the chamber and replace them. Uh, okay. So, we have red, blue. Oh, is it the alternate? The, like, is it the alternative ones? Hang on. Are there other books? There are. So, you want to open a dark portal. Uh, conjure. Bro! Are you kidding me, dude? What? Oh, Maybe my it's into God. Stream. Is the update cool? <laughs> How is the day? Bro. John, dude, thank you. Yo, can we get some love in the chat for this man? John, thank you, dude. A massive love from John here. Dude, thank you so much. The update's really good so far. Um, I'm at an interesting part of... Also, it's funny we just saw this, too. Because I was just talking about these. Uh, we're an interesting part here. I think each one of these are the round ones. So, except for this one. This one is the... Uh, that one is the, like, square one. We're just going to go get all of them. We're going to get all the one. Oh, wait. We have... There's blue, blue, red, yellow. That's what we got there. Blue, red, yellow. Blue, 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 red, yellow. Okay, let's go back here. John, thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. That is super helpful, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the big love. Also, thanks for the gifted subs yesterday as well, my man. Uh, it won't let me place the gems on the pedestal, said so Aquarius. Uh, what if you don't have the right ones? What if you don't have the right ones? What if that's what it is, Aquarius? You know? Maybe you need different gems. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, there was red, blue, and yellow there. Um, red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow is what we saw. So I wonder if we need the same color... Like, do we, does it need to match? If you click it, it tells you which one's to place. Does it? Uh, well, I don't know why you can't place them, Aquarius. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't even think it told me that. Uh, let me go back and check. That way I don't have to carry all the gems. Let's go look. All right, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna check this out. But even if it tells you, you know, maybe you still, maybe you just didn't grab the right ones, you know? Uh, this doesn't, there's a hole just big enough for a gym. That's what it tells you. What do you mean it tells you? Look at this. It says there is a hole just big enough for a gym. Upon this metal sits a red gem, a garnet. So there's a hole just big enough for a gem. That's all it says. There is a hole just big enough for a gem here. Yeah, what are you talking about, bro? Aquarius. What? Clicking and it tells you? I'm literally clicking it. Okay, dude, yeah. I came all the way back here for nothing. <laughs> uh, upon this metal sits a single tarnished yellow gym, a topaz. Nessa, I'm just going to grab a little bit of everything and figure it out. This one says, upon this pedestal sits a single tarnished red gym, a garnet. Because I know what these are. 
I already knew what these are. They're right out in the open. Aquarius, yeah, but you were you were wrong. <laughs> you were wrong, Aquarius. You said if you click on it, it tells you what goes there. That's not what it does. <laughs> That's not what it does, dude. You were you just sometimes you have to be like, yeah, you're right. I I I, I was incorrect about that. Sometimes you just got to admit it. You know what I mean? You just got to admit that you're incorrect. Um, because I already said that when I was leaving. I was like, you might need the ones that aren't there, or you might need duplicates. You're you're making an assumption, and you're saying that it won't let you place the gems. So, are you sure you didn't pick up the wrong ones? I would I would definitely just grab a little bit of everything until we know what we need. So right now we don't really know. I'm just gonna grab like one of each, uh, and then I'll figure out what goes everywhere. Uh, all right, here we go. I'm gonna keep this on me though. I'm gonna throw everything in here for now. And I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab a little bit of everything. I don't think we're gonna need everything, uh, but it w it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt, honestly. I really don't think we'll need the shiny ones. I feel like that would be a little bit too demanding. Um, you know what? I'm not even gonna bring the shinies. I'm just gonna bring the basics. I'm gonna bring the basics for now. And if that doesn't work, I'll bring shinies. Yeah, we're going to bring all the basic gems. This is just onyx. Uh, I don't think we'll need diamonds, but I'll bring them anyway. Okay, that's every basic gem in the game. And then we'll do the better ones, uh, if those don't work. So, Nessa, yeah, it could be big gems, but we're going to try one at a time. Uh, there we go, there we go. And John said, I worked a 16-hour shift on our actual anniversary. What? Dang. Well, you you guys still got to celebrate, though, right? Uh, today is the day we are actually celebrating. Oh, yeah, you said it's today. Even though, uh, it was the past Tuesday, so, uh, I won't be in the stream long. Well, I'm glad you guys get to celebrate today. I'm sorry I had to deal with that. Okay, let's see. Okay, no to the red. Purple. Purple worked. This is why I said just, I, I would like, you know. That's why I was trying to tell you, Aquarius. You gotta try everything. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. See, it wouldn't like, just like I told you. You should have listened to me. I was like, you don't know exactly which ones to bring because we don't understand this. Uh, it just says find out. So, you said you couldn't place the gems, and I tried to tell you that you might have the wrong ones, and you just laughed. You were like, LOL, it tells you which ones. Like, no, dude. <laughs> no. There you go. It also has to be small. It has to be the small ones. I'm trying to help you. There you go. Mission accomplished. How to open a dark portal. Uh, to get this portal stay stable. Uh, I'll need to let it... Let it one of my deepest fear. Yeah, you might have the large ones instead of the small ones, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Spiders. I'm not even scared of spiders. I don't know why I chose that. Uh, with all the legs and eyes, they're so creepy and crawly, and... I didn't even read the, the fears. I actually like spiders. Yeah, you know, Mickey, his pimp hat just absorbed all the dark magic. You know, it's fine. So, yeah, make sure you're not using shiny gems. And it won't let you place the wrong ones, because we just saw that. It will not let you place the wrong ones, Aquarius. And you got to make sure they're not shiny. Make sure they are regular. So, you know, as you just saw, you know, regular amethyst here. Uh, regular orange here, the citrine on this side. And then over here, it's going to be a regular emerald. So you need amethyst. You need amethyst. 
Uh, citrine. Emerald. This is what you need. This is what you need right here. Amethyst. Citrine. Emerald. Amethyst. Citrine. Emerald. Not shiny. No shiny. Uh, here you go, Olaf. <laughs> here you go, buddy. Have your arms back. Quick, oh, guilt trip me. You found my arms? Come here. Let me put them on. Uh, oh, that's much better. I feel so sticky. What, bro? Why do you... Why do you feel... St st sticky, Olaf? Oh, because your arms are sticks. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Because my arms are sticks. Yeah, I get it. Uh, that's hilarious. Well, I didn't just find your arms. I also found the orbs. There we go. Huh? Uh, no, what's wrong with it? The light has gone out. The magic is gone. So we got to recharge the orb now. Uh, doesn't mean enough to fix the pillar and stop oh. the blizzard. Uh, I'm sorry, Sima. I wish I knew how to fix it. Uh, let's see. I can fix this. I have to fix it. Uh, it's hopeless. We're doomed. I say there must be a way. You know, Olaf have the best combos. Yeah, Olaf is fun to talk to. Uh, I just have to figure out the mystery. Maybe there's a book in Merlin's library, uh, or another memory somewhere. Yeah, Aquarius, maybe, maybe it bugged for you because you put the wrong ones on, and now it won't let you put anything on. Um, so yeah, I would just restart, restart your switch. Maybe that'll fix it. <laughs> oh. Another switch bug. Every time there's a update for the game, there's always there's always some kind of bug on Switch. I may not know how to fix the ore, but I do know one thing uh, that can make everything better. Yay! A warm hug. <laughs> uh, won't you melt, though? You know? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wow. <gasps> Thanks, Olaf. I feel a lot better now. Yeah, warm hugs are the best. Wait a second. The orb started to glow when you hugged me. Merlin said he didn't know what virtue powered the pillar in Frosted Heights, but now I think it must be... Yeah. Warm hugs! Uh, well, I was going to say friendship, but... um, Sure. It's love, Olaf. Love! I, whoa, that's a strong word. That's a really strong word for for me and Olaf to share. You know, first he's sticky, now we're in love. I, I, mm, I'm feeling weird about it. Uh, <gasps> simple act of love, fix the orb, okay. Uh, almost, but not quite. Uh, I still need to put this orb back in the pillar, let's go. There we go. All right. Place the orb. Well, we already, that, you know, it did not take long to get that orb fixed. Uh, would that make you a gym leader, Sabai? <laughs> Wait, that you said that a while ago. What, were, what was that What, what was that in reference to, uh, John? Also, John said for our Japan trip. Oh, wait, let me fix something with my mic. It's slightly off again. Yeah, that freaks me out when it does that. There we go. Oh, okay, that's better. Uh, yeah, I hate it when it's like just barely off. It drives me crazy. There we go. I don't know why it gets decent like that. Cosmic Kitty with the follow. Cosmic Kitty, welcome, my friend. Welcome. Uh, for our Japan trip, I'm planning it to where we start at the bottom of the country when the Cherry Blossoms start. Oh, dude, that would be so sick. And then as we go to the other place in North Japan, it uh, is a new Blossom start. Uh, then we get to Okinawa, and the Blossoms should start following or falling. Dude, what? That's so crazy. How does something made out of snow give warm hugs? Says Tulu. I, I have no idea. 
We're doing Tokyo, Kyoto, uh, Akibara, and Okinawa. Uh, those are my definites. Oh, dude, that's so sick. Uh, that is awesome, dude. That is awesome. I'm so, I'm so envious. I, I've, I've wanted to go to Japan my whole, like, you know, pretty much my entire life. I would love to go. But congrats, man. When are you guys going? When are you guys going on your trip? Uh, when you open up your mini gym vaults. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have all the gym badges, you know. <laughs> uh, you're going to Japan for real? Well, not me, Cosmic Kitty, but thank you for the follow. Uh, my friend John, who's in chat right now, uh, he's talking about a trip. Yeah, Aquarius. Um, yeah, I mean, since I told you which gyms to place, I figured you wouldn't have an issue. Um, but yeah, I think you tried to place the wrong ones, and it made your Switch bug. So for you guys that are playing on Switch, just make sure you put the right gyms there. It might cause your Switch to bug out. I think that was the problem Aquarius had. Uh, Aquarius had, had um, mistakenly thought that the pillars told him exactly which ones to put on, and then for some reason after he tried the wrong ones, it wouldn't let him put them on. So they had to restart. Uh, because, yeah, it, the pillars didn't actually tell you which ones to put on, so I think we all kind of had to guess. But now that you guys know exactly which ones it is, uh, you can probably avoid that bug. Uh, all right. Let's put the pillar in here. An orb of love. I'm going to miss this pillar having all the purple. I kind of liked it. Well, on PC, you can just click them all and you can still put them in, but yeah, it looks like on uh, it looks like on Switch, it'll bug your game if you try to put the wrong ones in with, you know, Switch being the Switch, you know. Uh, all right, well, we fixed that. Talk to Olaf in the secret chamber. I'm going to miss this pillar, actually. That's why I put these bushes here and these amethyst lights, you know. I've kind of played to this pillar. I'm going to be kind of sad when it's gone. I didn't see what the gems are. I got two or three, says Brad. Uh, Brad, it's amethyst, citrine, uh, an emerald. Amethyst, citrine, and emerald. Uh, no shinies. Hello! Well, so bye. You found my missing pieces and stop the blizzard. You are very talented. There's still a lot of questions left, though. Like, what's the deal with this secret chamber? Uh, what was the forgotten doing in here? Yay! Yo, Juice Paulino! Juicy, good morning, good morning. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for the resub, Juicy. Good to see you. I uh, hope you're having a great morning. Devs are aware of the gym bug and are working on it, says Minda. Oh, they're already on it? Very nice, very nice. I'm debating on switching over to PlayStation to have less bugs. I would, Aquarius. If you have another option to play on, I... Okay, I have a Switch. I'm not... I don't hate Nintendo by any means. But out of all the, the platforms and consoles on the market, it is the most behind. It's the oldest. It's the... Um, it, it, it has the le the least amount of processing. It has the highest amount of bugs. Nintendo Switch is good for one thing and one thing only. Exclusive Nintendo games. I have a Nintendo Switch because I love Animal Crossing. I love Pokemon. I love Zelda games. I love Mario games. That's why I have a Switch. If a game is on multiple platforms, do not get it on Switch if you can help it. I mean, unless you really want to play it handheld. Like, if you really want to play it on the go, I get it. But... I've been begging a lot of my friends that have the Switch to upgrade. I mean, one of my friends, uh, Rob, I just convinced him to get a Steam Deck instead of a Switch. Uh, you know, he had a Switch, and now he's got a Steam Deck, and it's life-changing. Uh, but, yeah. Now, if you if the Switch is your only console, like, you know, that's okay. But I would just definitely advise saving up, you know. Uh, it, it if, if a game is cross-platform, right, if it's available on multiple platforms you are robbing yourself of the real experience of that game by playing it on Switch. And like I said, I don't hate the Switch. I really don't. Um, I love the Switch exclusives. But if you are going to be playing uh, any game on cross-platform, you know, I would I would definitely not advise playing on the Switch. Uh, all right. Don't worry, Simba. You know, you'll figure it out. Uh, you're uh, practically the official villager figure figure outer figure outer uh but for now i'm going to see what's changing the village while i'm winning at hide and seek there are so many new fun facts to learn there's a lot of new villagers to befriend yeah we're gonna do that can't wait to meet them all says olaf tag you're it oh my god olaf 
Walk by me in here. Whoa, what is that level 10 item he gives you? What is Olaf going to do for me? I have been doing a lot of mining. I mean, I can change people's, you know. Let's do gardening, actually, because I got to pick some pumpkins later. I got to pick some carrots. Might be a fast way to level them up. Or you know what? I'm going to make... No, no, no. I'm going to make... Uh, I'm going to make Mirabelle gardening. I'm going to do mining for Olaf here. All right. Also, what's your next Hi, quest? It's me, Olaf. Uh, let's see. Can you help me out? Yeah. Villagers don't seem happy at all. Like Grumpy Lion and the lady who's always looking in the mirror. Grumpy Lion and, and the lady who's always looking in the mirror. You mean Scar and Mother Gothel? Uh, they're hungry for power. If they were happy, a lot of people uh, in the village wouldn't hmm? be. Wow, so you're saying that some conceptions of happiness are at odds with others? That's some real life stuff right there. And maximizing the happiness of everyone is practically impossible? Bro, that's how it feels to be a streamer sometimes. It's like some people want you to play one game, some people want you to play the other, and there's no way to make everybody happy. Thus is the life of a full-time streamer. Uh, John said, I like the portability, but you're so right. The power, though, it's just weak in performance. Yeah, I only really bother with... Nintendo Switch games uh, that be, that are exclusive to the Switch. Like, if a game is available on other platforms, I will not get it on the Switch. Because you're you're really robbing yourself of, of a really great version of the game. Uh, that's a very grown-up thought. Uh, let's keep it simple. Uh, what have you tried doing to make Scar and Mother Gothel happy so far? Uh, well, I tried to give Scar a warm hug. Uh, you haven't even left this cave, Olaf. Why are you lying, bro? Then I Maybe he's talking about it in the past. Then I tried to tell Mother Gothel some fascinating trivia. Like what? I told her that the average human breathes in and out 22,000 times a day. <laughs> she didn't seem impressed. Uh, maybe we could try giving them some gifts. That always cheers people up. Uh, what an incredible idea. Uh, I knew you could help me some. Uh, you have the innate wisdom that comes with maturity. <sighs> And I know just what to get them. Let's start with some flowers. Red ball lilies, uh, blue passion lilies, white passion lilies would make an exquisite bouquet. And of course, uh, we need some salmon. Salmon, why? Just trust me on this one, Sabai. I'm going to make a wonderful <laughs> gift. Uh, why don't you go find everything? Uh, dear Scar. Uh, next one. Dear Mother Gothel. Hmm. No, to my most esteemed fellow villager. <laughs> Hands okay. down, this is the... Hang out with Mickey for an hour. Let's go. Okay, mine gardens hang out. Sell Topaz. Okay, we can sell Topaz easily. Why sell Topaz, though? I, you know, Topaz is one of the things I'm low on, actually. I never mind the plaza. I hate mining the plaza. Give Goofy his uh, favorite gifts. Okay. Uh, that's an easy one. All right. Well, we've hung... We've, we've chilled with Mickey for an hour. Oh, we should chill with Olaf, then. We should chill with Olaf. Hang on, Mickey. We're going back inside. <laughs> is he still in? Olaf probably left. He probably... Yeah, he left because we left. Now we got to find him again. Uh, he sounds like a whale. <laughs> yeah, when he squeaks. I mean, he kind of does, though. You're not wrong. All right. Well, we finally have a pretty new pillar to move. Oh, my God. Are you going to tell me I can't move this one? You're telling me I can move all the other pillars? I might need to restart the game before I can move this pillar, actually. So we'll leave it there for now. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can't move that one yet. Okay. Well, the blizzard's gone, so that's good. I just woke up. Nice. Welcome. Yeah, we're going to hang out with Olaf. Let's find out where he went. Uh, straight to the restaurant. Oh, my God, Olaf. What are, you, what are you doing? What do you want here? Well, Olaf did want me to gather some stuff for him. Uh, salmon, red bromelain, white passion lily, and while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and collect favorite gifts for everybody because we're going to get Mirabelle today, too. I'm All right. so happy you're here. I did not grab her. Uh, ah. Hi. I did not grab her favorite stuff yet. Uh, not the other thing, but we do have the purple. We do have the purple impatience. There we go. 
Uh, I'm really oh, grateful for I your forgot help. to get a salmon. You know, we can just catch a salmon. We'll just catch a salmon. That's fine. Okay, who else is around? Uh, there's a few. Oh, there's a quest for uh, Scrooge right now. I hope that's to expand his shop or something. Where is he? <laughs> oh, yeah, Mickey. Uh, let's give Mickey something here, too. Uh, he wanted the red bromelade. Hey, All right, Scrooge. I've got a job for you. Uh, I'll make the perfect place for going cross country skiing. Uh, nobody can turn around a piece of real estate like you, Senpai. Goodbye now. Rebuild the Goodbye. valley, Frosted Heights. Wow, we just got that one? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Uh, place 10 pieces of furniture in Frosted Heights. Oh my goodness. I thought we already had that. Uh, there's Chris. Could use a few more sleds around here. You always say that. I think if I put 100 sleds everywhere, yeah. you'd probably still tell me that. Bye. Uh, he didn't want flowers. He's the See only ya. one that didn't want flowers today. And I said, I want uh, for the safe door to do something in Scrooge's shop. Yeah, there's another door behind it, too. I'm kind of sad about the... Like, the storage upgrade is cool, but the safe that Scrooge sells us is really pretty, and we're not going to really be using that anymore. Uh, Buzz and Woody. Oh, cool. This whole area is, like, pinged now. Well, let's go give her her... Um, her thing. This is why we had to pick up stuff earlier. All right. <sighs> Ugh, mornings. I feel that in my soul. Here you go. Yeah. She always poses like she's on like the cover of like a hip hop album. And I'll just be like, I don't know why she does that. It's really funny. <laughs> okay. There you go. Ooh, thanks. You're welcome. I should have made Goofy's uh, stuff, too. He wanted oregano. Uh, yeah, I should have taken care of Goofy. Let's go ahead and put some stuff out here real quick. Oh, yeah, and we needed... Oh, I never I never hung out with Olaf. I never told Olaf we were going to hang out. I need to find him. Right, let's catch some salmon. It's the only thing we need for Olaf's little quest. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, V-Bell. I'm not changing my gym room. There we go. I know we'd get a salmon if we came up here. I'm not going to change my gym room. Uh, definitely not doing that. Because I love the way the safes look with the gems. And usually you don't get, like, way too many gems, so it should be kind of easy to do. Okay, we just need to place ten things, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Talk to Scrooge. Okay, thanks. All right. We need to find Olaf, hang out with Olaf so we can get him leveled up too. There he is. Oh, there's my boy Stitch. Lossy, what up, what up? John said anything for Simbine to have an exclusive, uh, an excuse to pull his rod out on stream. We <laughs> he just fish salmon. You know, you know, John. I mean, it's a good rod. You know, I mean, like I'm proud of it. Like, of course I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna bring it out. You know, I mean, sometimes you just gotta throw the little worm out there. You know what I mean? To get salmon. Oh, good, you're here. I am here. Uh, here's the stuff. See you soon. Oh, hi! Oh, wait. Oh, it's not done yet. Hang on. Let me give you some stuff. You wanted purple pinstamen. And you also want... Oh, 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 he's excited. Blossy, how are you? Hope you're doing well. I'm good, Blossy. I'm good. Just enjoying the update today. Enjoying the update. 
Oh, All right, no. and oh, we haven't come to conversation with him yet. Oh. Also, John, oh. thanks again, bro. China Grace, China Grace, hello, hello. Well, uh, I guess that's it. Bye. And let's see. Well, usually Aquarius, every character uh, will ask for food, but Wally will never ask for food, and neither will the Toy Story characters because they don't each. It's kind of funny, but every other character will usually want uh, at least one food item a day. Remy usually wants two to three food items a day, and so does um, Maui. It's funny. So each character actually has certain things that they will very commonly ask for. Um, I doubt Olaf will ever want food since he's a snowman. Um, he might want like a new carrot or something, you know, maybe replace his nose every once in a while, I guess, but yeah. I don't know. Okay. Uh, wait, gain star coins. When do we get star coins? We must have got them from running around. Friendship. Uh, oh, we finished it. We finished uh, bringing uh, 540 gifts, and we finished bringing friends their favorite gifts. We brought 180 favorite gifts. It's level 5 now. I really got to work on daily convos. I have been slacking on that. Okay. Uh, and... Oh, hi! What else did he want? I think he wanted gold. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to give him that. God dang it. I just clicked on it oh, twice oh, by oh, accident. Oh. Why Why does that Hands make you happy, down, Olaf? You don't even this eat... This is the best day of my life. You don't even eat, Olaf. I will give him this, though. There we go. Uh... Hi, I'm gonna give him some me, flowers. Olaf. Oh, and oh, thanks. let's get him to hang out with us. <gasps> this makes me so happy. Come on, Olaf. Uh, glad. Uh, I'm glad you're doing good. Yeah, I'm good. Fiance, enjoying Dream Life Valley. Morning. Loving the new update. All right. So we got Olaf with us. Uh, Mickey's down here. A uh, lot of people in the restaurant. We can knock out some favorite gifts right there. And while we're in the area, we can run by Scrooge and let him know we got those uh, 10 items put out. The best bait for salmon is a thirst trap. Trust me, we get lots of salmon up here, so I know. You, I mean, bro, yeah, actually, that's a good point. Like, you would kind of be the community salmon expert since you're up in Alaska. That's like the land of the salmon. Uh, yeah, Blossy, they announced that a while ago on their Twitter. Um, I get. Oh, you can oh, always get your Dream Life Valley update news from Twitter. Uh, and... That's one of the uh, things they announced when they announced the um, when they announced the path for the um, like the roadmap for all this. Um, when they announced the roadmap for this game, um, they announced multiplayer. So that was that was that was made known a while back. But yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, bye -bye, wait, oh, I had to leave the items there, bro. That's so... Oh, my goodness. I got to go put them back. I used to be able to put them down and take them away, but it doesn't work like that anymore, even though I've already got items out there. Uh, looks like I got to go put stuff... Put stuff down. You know what? That's fine. We're actually just going to put some... We're going to put some, like... Um, just going to put 10 of these out and leave them here for now. It's just always Christmas here. You know? We're just gonna make sure it's always Christmas. Oh! And we never we never looked to see exactly how many uh we never looked to see exactly how many spots those big treasure boxes have. We're gonna have to look at that in a second. The land of always Christmas. Oh my god. John, are you still here? Are you still here? I I got to I got to talk to you about something, bro. We got to talk. We got to have a serious talk, man. All right, let's see. There we go. All right. 
Nice. Now, oh wait, I still got to place two more things. That's okay. We need to check out the, uh, we need to check out that new box anyway. Large chest. Oh, it's a regular tiny size? Wow. Dang, that fits a lot. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, this is really cool. I should have made a medium one just to kind of check it out, but I don't want to use the iron on it, to be honest. I like my iron a lot. A lot. Like, a lot. Like, way too much. All right, now we got 10 items out. Now we can talk to Scrooge now. Okay. Now let's talk to Scrooge. I mean, that's kind of what I expected. They cost 5,000 Dreamlight to make. So that's that's pretty much what I was thinking it was going to be, like a full chest. Like all, you know, kind of like the home storage. So, I'm not too surprised. Um that's, that's pretty much what I was thinking we were going to see. Otherwise, I don't see why it would cost 5,000 dream light, like if it was just like a couple of rows. And, you know, people have had a lot of issues with storage, so I figured they were going to they were going to kind of solve that problem. And now I can finally make my storage video, my, my updated storage room video. Conversation. Brilliant. There we go. Oh, we need three oh, salmon. That's the greetings, problem. Neighbor. Uh, well, we did his Thank quest, but kindly. nothing really became of it. All right, we got to go get some salmon for my boy. You know what? We'll just go get it from... We'll go get it from my house. My castle, I mean. Yeah, I guess at 5k, Dream Light is an even trade. Yeah. Yeah, now people actually have a reason to spend their Dream Light. And when it comes to the Dream Light, you know, I want to be careful not to spend too much. Um, I want to be careful not to spend too much, to be honest. What did you think about... Uh, you finally catch up on the last... How did you know? Bro, how did you know... How did you know that's what I was going to talk to you about? <laughs> How did you know that's what I needed to talk to you about, bro? How did you know that? You're right, dude. You're right. Yeah. I caught up on The Last of Us. Last night. When I went to bed. Bro, episode five. You just know me too well, I guess. Episode five, bro. Oh my god, I get shivers. I get shivers just thinking about it. Um, I, like, dude. What an episode. And the ending, I was like, I teared up. Like, <laughs> that, that was probably one of the heaviest scenes I think I've, I've ever seen uh, in television. And I won't even describe my feelings exactly because I don't want to spoil it for anybody that hasn't seen the show. Um, that was heavy. That was like, it was heavy, but it was so well written. And the, uh, the correlation between our main characters and those characters. Um, wow, man, that was some of the best television I've ever watched in my life. Okay. Uh, hey, did you know that together, salmon and flower are an anagram for fall more snow? What? Literally, who would know that? <laughs> Me. And all now also you. Yeah, thanks to you. I know things I didn't need to know. Let's go give Mother Gotho her gift. I think she's going to love it. Sure, she'll love it. I'm, I'm sure she'll love it. Watch Olaf give Mother Gotho her gift. Okay, I'm sure this will go over well. I'm sure this will go over really well. Uh, and where is mommy? There she is. Oh, here she comes. 
Oh god. They're running towards each other. Oh god. Olaf, slow down. Oh my god, Olaf. Olaf, no. Oh my god, look at him. Where are you going? We've got a very special gift for you. Dot, dot, dot. Raw fish. Why would you possibly want to give me raw fish? Because I thought you'd like them. Did you know that salmon change color and have an excellent sense of smell? Olaf. How nice for them. Now run along and stop pestering me with useless nonsense. Don't tell me I'm looking a bit run down. I'm not the one that gave you the salmon. You don't have to insult me. Just teasing. You look almost as fabulous as me. Oh, thank you. You you are looking quite good, Mommy. Bye, Mommy. I hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave, you know? All right. How'd that go, Olaf? That go as well as you expected? I can't talk to you. You're in the yeah. cherries. I'm so surprised that my gift didn't make Mother Gothel happy. I thought you were going to give her the flowers and scar the salmon. I think things got a little mixed up. Yeah, making everybody in the village happy is going to be harder than I thought. Bro. <laughs> uh, mm, we have to keep trying. You're right. And we'll start by delivering this bouquet to Scar. Oh, my God, bro. I'm going to say, uh, <laughs> don't worry. I'm sure oh. Scar will love it. These flowers definitely say king of the jungle to me, or at least... Jealous uncle of the king of the jungle. Probably don't say that to Scar. Probably I would. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bring up the uh, uncle to the king thing. I, I would. Um, I would leave that out. Okay, but be sure to tell him um, they're from someone who wants to make him smile. Uh, sure. I'll meet you near the bridge of the Sunlit Plateau after. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Now I gotta go give these to Scar. Oh jeez. Oh, uh, this isn't going to go over very well, I don't think. Oh, don't tell me he's at the restaurant. Okay, he's not. Oh, there he is. I found him. I'm coming, Scar, and I got something you're going to hate. I got something you're not going to like, Scar. I've completed my patrol. All the flight is in You there. I need you. Yeah, come here. Come here, Scar. Get out of the bushes. Here, yeah, talk to me in a good spot where we can see your reaction. There you are. I've got a gift for you. Oh. <laughs> a raggedy bunch of flowers. Surely you weren't fool enough to gather these for me yourself. They're from Olaf. He thought you'd like them. <laughs> Pass on my appreciation for these pedestrian posies. And then tell that cloying little snow sculpture that if he pesters me again, I'll turn him into slush. You may leave now. This man got a bouquet of flowers and referred to them as pedestrian posies. That's a really inventive way of insulting the gift, I gotta say. That was very impressive. Uh, by the way, did you actually want Ooh, flowers of any kind? I don't think you do. I don't think he ever does. Yeah, he he usually wants food. That's what he always wants. Run along now. That's why the and salmon would have actually made him happy. You know, I thought Elsa said Olaf was a genius. He's not even close. All right, time for a shower. Can't look like a burn a, a bum on our anniversary date. Oh, I forgot to put my pool here. <laughs> Because it was a little too crowded at my house since I made it a castle. We gotta redo that area later. We're gonna we're gonna redo a lot of stuff. Uh, this is the only biome I haven't decorated. Well, we gotta go meet Olaf and tell him he's a failure. Okay, that though. And I also noticed that my. Uh, have you guys noticed that all of our uh, our house chests that we used to keep? 
There's something... Bro, there is a tentacle in the water. Do y'all see that? Oh my god, it's Ursula. Where did you come from? Bro, what, where were you? That was that was weird. Did you guys notice that um, all of our... Uh, you know the, the house storage box? The one that's I put in each biome and the one I also put in the main room? Uh, they're gone. You can only have them in the house now, it seems. Uh, they're pretty... So, uh, which is okay because now we have the large chest, so it doesn't really matter, you know. Uh, but it is going to make it kind of a pain. Um, uh, I'm going to make a, a, a special designated storage zone for each, uh, biome. That's going to be my plan moving forward. Purple marsh milkweed. I'm just getting everybody their favorite stuff. Okay, let's talk to Olaf. So does Scar like his bouquet? He hated it a lot. <laughs> oh, wow. It really t it's tough to make people happy. I just wanted to bring joy to the whole village. Olaf, uh, I think everything we did together is making a new memory appear. Oh, oh, oh boy. Got to redo all my chest. Say baby hugs. So there's been a big change. Um, there's definitely going to be some. So I was going to make, I had a lot of people, BB. I have a YouTube uh, where I put up a lot of content for this game. And Pops, hello, hello. I had a YouTube where I put up a lot of uh, content for this game. And one of the um, big things people were asking me to do was a, uh, a breakdown of how I do my storage because it's really efficient. But I did not do it because I heard they were going to update how storage works. So I was like, let's wait till the update because we're probably going to have to redo it. And sure enough, we do need to do some changes. Um, but I do like the way they've done this. Storage rooms will still be necessary, so it doesn't invalidate everything else we've done. So it's not too bad. Um... Is it the color under their wing is their favorite? I can't, I can't remember with these little guys. I want the dream shards from them. Uh, we'll build a new stage. Okay, so I gotta make a stage. Uh, softwood, iron, rope. Talk to Minnie to get the curtains. Okay. Also, let's go to our quest. Oh, we gotta take pictures, that's it. Yes, I know. I'm Come here, mommy. In the morning. But then I'm gorgeous all the time. <laughs> My default face is weird. I'm gonna go with a, uh, I like this one. That's better. Good job, mommy. Good, good picture. I'm having a pretty good day. Oh my God, Stitch! I love you. Let's get a let's get a photo together. You're the best. Oh my God, you're so adorable. Wait, you're a little too close to the camera, Stitchy. There you go. That's better. Oh my God, look at you. Move your arm. I want to see Stitch. There we go. I'm going to save that one because it's Stitch. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've been on since 9 a.m. That's when the update for the game came out. We've been talking about this all week. Um, the update started right at 9 a.m., so my stream started right at 9 a.m., and I will be downloading this stream as soon as it's done Don't to put it on YouTube. I just love summer. Scar. You liked your bouquet, didn't you? Don't lie. Don't lie to me, Scar. I know you liked it. Why do I... There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... I like this. I'm going to keep that one. Oh, yeah, and Ares, you said castle house, question mark? Yeah, my house is a castle now. Here you go. I think that's going to make a big difference there. I think for now, mini casita looks really good here. And I think I'm going to do the brick fencing, the brick and iron fencing here. I might even bring it back a little further. Maybe I put it up against the back there. 
Oh my god, where where are we? Okay. Welcome, Mirabel. I didn't even I wasn't ready for this. Oh dang. Alright. So let's get a little picture with Mirabel. Move your hand, you dingus! Why you look like a psycho? There you go. Great. All right. Anything I can help with? Dang, look at Mirabelle. She's so ready to help. Hey. So eager. Uh, where am I? How long have I been asleep? Hmm. Wait, I'm back in the valley. Oh. Looks so much better. Uh, and someone made all that darkness go away. Huh. Uh, Whoa. you must be the one that did that. Fel Felicidades. Did she just call me daddy? Uh, I'm so glad to be back. Where were you? Uh -huh. I'm not sure. It was strange, and everything looked frozen in time. I woke up once to a drink, uh, for a glass of water, but I was so tired, I went back to sleep. Uh, I'm guessing you're the one I should thank for bringing me back. Uh, it was totally worth all the time. <laughs> all right. Uh, something tells me we're going to be great neighbors. Ah. So happy to see the valley. Before the forgetting, it was full of friends and happiness and so much laughter. Uh, I really love to hear. Mm. Uh, that's why I was so sad to see people forget and leave. Woo! Yeah! But now the darkness is gone. Okay, great. Talk to Minnie to get a curtain. Now we got to do that next. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. What kind of gifts do you want? Let's talk first. I'm just getting started. Okay. Now, she wants tourmaline, oyster platter, coconut ice cream. Okay. I don't have any of those things on me right now. Uh, we'll catch you later then. All right. Let's clear our inventory a little bit. At least we still have these inside the house. Um, but I'm really sad we don't have them in the biomes anymore. That's really unfortunate. But we get the big the big chest now, so actually we we don't really need them. You know, if you make a big chest for each biome, you're you're pretty much covered. Um, yeah, we don't need to get worry about giving out any more gifts today. I think we're good on that. Uh. Oh, uh. By the way, Pops, are you still here? Uh, how can you get the Pixar Uploon, says Placeable with Yarn. Uh, hello! So, Placeable with Yarn, sorry for replying so late. Um, been very tied into the update today. But uh, those were part of the very first Star Path they ever did. Um, they were part. It was the Pixar Celebration. So when the game first launched, you know how they have those limited time star paths that give you limited time items? Um, we were able to get that. Now, if you did not get it, uh, do not fear. Multiplayer will be here eventually. And they might let us trade gifts. I don't know. Uh, I think that would be cool if we could. That way, if there's something you missed in the past, hopefully you can still get it. I hope that's how it works. Uh, we shall see. Well, oh, you're lurking. Dad, I was going to say, um, I saw... Uh, I, I, I caught up on The Last of Us. Uh, I caught up last night. Oh my god. That's all I can say. Just, oh. Oh my god. What an episode that was. That was probably some of the best television I've ever watched in my life. Like, in my entire life. Uh, that scene at the end was probably one of the hardest uh, things to watch. Oh, yeah. Wasn't I supposed to make something? Uh, oh, yeah. I gotta get a curtain for Minnie. I didn't even need to grab that stuff. I can just keep that in here. Uh, and... Are we no longer with Olaf? Like, we were hanging out with Olaf, and then he just he just dipped. Oh, my God. That big boy. That's all I can say about that episode. Oh, dude. Yeah. That was sick. That whole scene was so... So crazy, dude. I love that scene. But the end of the episode... 
dude. Yeah, don't put any spoilers in chat, Vash, because there's there's a lot of people here that haven't seen it. So don't put any spoilers in the chat. But yeah, Vash, the end of that episode was like so painful. I mean, but I knew it wasn't going to just work out, you know, because like I won't say much, but like, you know, the main characters is just it's it's supposed to just be them. It's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be the two of them, you know, so. I was like, also, I was thinking about it when all that went down, and I was like, that's weird. I was like, there's no way everybody just made it out of that alive. Like, there's no way. The, the, the infected were everywhere. And then there was the scene. Oh, my God, the scene, bro. Dude, like, I, I couldn't even talk after that. Like, even talking about it right now, like, I'm, like, literally tearing up thinking about it. It was so... So hard, like, dude. That was so sad. I mean, but I knew it wasn't gonna be a happy ending. But it, it did, it, it, it didn't make it any easier. I was just. I mean, I knew something was gonna happen, but I didn't know it was gonna be like that. And I, di I didn't know. I didn't know the guy was gonna have to be the one to do, to do that. And I didn't know he was gonna do that afterwards. Uh trying not to give much away but yeah it was it was really hard to watch but amazingly had to be like that you know yeah vash you're not wrong that's i i knew i knew something like that had to go down like i knew it right but i did not think i did not think it was it like it was going to be that dark like But I mean, also, you know, that just really puts things into perspective for Joel, you know? Uh, Sean Dawson, I felt nauseous after that episode out of sadness. Dude, me too. I literally, I couldn't even move. I was just laying in bed. My eyes like welling up with tears. I, I don't, there's only been a few times in my life that a show or a movie or a series like hit like that I couldn't believe it I I mean like I could believe it because I knew something like that had to happen but it didn't make it it didn't make it any easier you know like that was that was rough man that was rough but uh, on a lighter note the episode itself, like the uh, the scene with the action, that was so good, dude. That was I, that was so satisfying to see. Like we knew, we knew something was coming, bro. All they had were each other. Yeah. Yeah. Her comment at the end is what got me. Yeah, when she wrote that on the little... Yeah. And then she dropped it there. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, good. You're here. It's still... It's so fresh in my mind because I watched it right before bed last night. <sighs> Shh. Dang. Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to get curtains. Give me the curtains. There we go. Goodbye. Uh, and I need to give Goofy favorite gifts. Uh, but he wanted... Oh, I can go pick some oregano for him. He wanted a garnet. He wants oregano. Did you think... No. No. I didn't think for a second. Uh, that's what I told jo That's what I told Jordan when, when she did that. I knew it. I knew I knew it wasn't going to, you know? I just knew it. Because it can't. Like that's not how it works, you know? And I know she wanted it to because she wanted she wanted to be a hero, you know? She wanted to save him. Um But I knew I was so worried about her like going to bed there. I was like, dude, no, like and she didn't tell, you know, she didn't tell, 
I mean, I don't know what telling them would have done. It might have made things even worse. I don't know. But, you know, jeez, man. Jeez. Uh, all right, we got the curtains. I think now we just craft the stage. That's a big stage. All right, bring the stage to Olaf. Which I should be hanging out with, but he likes to disappear, apparently. Alright, let's go find him. I really wanted it to work, though. Yeah, I know. I mean, we all did, of course. You know? We all did. But, especially when he asked, like, when he asked her about, you know, if she was scared... And if you were still the same afterwards, and she showed him, and he had this, you know, like, he had this hope, you know? Uh, but, you know, we knew, we knew it wouldn't, it wouldn't work that way. Oh, a sturgeon. We need that. I need these because I feed the foxes these sturgeons every day. Oh, hi, Mirabel. They changed the sound. All right. Let's get my hole off here. I have not seen the Sea Beast Vash. Here we go. Oh, hi! Uh, let's not put the stage so we're ready to start the show. Uh, I'm going to say... All right, Dreamlight Valley is full of stories. Thrilling and action-packed. <laughs> Definitely recommend watching it. Okay. I'll do some pondering and let you know when I'm uh, ready Hands to begin. Down, no, this is the best day doing. of my life. Oh, good. You're here. Are you ready oh. for the next step? Mm -hmm. Okay, what did Wally tell you? <gasps> he said, whoa. Mm. Uh, he's a machine of few words. Yeah, that's true. What did the squirrel tell you? It made a loud screeching noise and ran away. <laughs> <sighs> uh, though I'm not sure how that story will play out with our audience. What did Merlin tell you? Well, Merlin always knows best uh, stories, probably because he's magical and also the most aged person I know. Uh, he told me about how you're fighting the forgetting, and I decided that's our story. <laughs> the Legend of Senpai. I like it. That's grade A story. Definitely going to get the people going. Uh, you want to put on a play all about me? Uh, good idea. I'm pretty great. I thought for a second uh, there you wouldn't want the sudden fame, but or that's sure to come with uh, being the subject of our epic tale. Okay, I'm listening, somebody. Please regale me with the feats of your heroism. Spare no details. Well, okay. It all started when I fell asleep under a tree and... Wait, wait. We can't have story time without a snack. A snack? What are you hungry for? Uh, oh, being a snowman? I don't eat. I'm just thinking of you. <laughs> Maybe you could ask Remy... He knows all the yummy food. I mean, he knows a perfect snack for story time. Okay. See you soon. Talk to Remy. Oh, wait. Nope. We need to hang out, Olaf. Quit avoiding me. Hello. Ooh. We need to level you up, sir. We need to level you up a little bit. All right. Uh, I found a new potato to go with the gold one. Oh, yeah? A new potato. In our gold chest. I'm going to pick these up now that this is done. I wonder if I'll be able to move this one. 
I hope so. All right. So we have a few things to do. We got Mirabelle. We got... Oh, my goodness. There's... There's Mirabelle's quest. There's Olaf's quest. Let's just go ahead and do Olaf's here. Uh, we got to talk to Remy, who is... There are a lot of people at the restaurant. Remy's there. All right. Let's run by Remy real quick. Could I talk to you? Well, I mean, you could if you weren't hiding in the corner. Hey, it's you. Uh, <laughs> popcorn. Yeah. Of course he mm. wants to make me popcorn. Oh, some sugar cane. I need some pure ice. Uh, that's a secret oh. ingredient. Uh, Elsa be happy about the help with that. Okay. Oh, Hi she's there. right here. That's convenient, is that? <laughs> here you go. Okay, nice. I hope we can talk again soon. I can't believe she was right there. Talk to Elsa to get the pure ice. I got it already. Uh, cook all of a snack using corn, butter, sugar cane, and pure ice. Sweet frost popcorn? That's cool. That's cool. Uh, okay. Bring the sweet frost pop. Oh, he's literally right here. Oh, that's right. I brought him with me. I just did that whole quest, like, in the restaurant. Elsa was here. Olaf is here. That was crazy. Uh, that smells <coughs> delicious. Uh, now everything's ready for you to tell your story. We're going. Uh, so it all started when I fell under a tree in the woods. Okay, so we told him everything. Uh, that's everything that's happened since I arrived in Dreamer mm -hmm. Valley. Woohoo! It's one of the top three best stories I've ever heard. Dang, let's go. Uh, Wisdom said this game is slowly turning into a cash grab. Dude, it's a free to, it's, it's, it's turning into a free to play game. They, they, they said that when it launched. Like, free to play games still have to make money. So, like, we knew this was going to be a thing the whole time. So, I don't understand why anybody would be surprised that there's microtransactions. That's literally, that is the model for a free-to-play game. Like, if you look at Fortnite, or if you look at any free game, your season pass, so to say, which is the event, is going to cost real-world money. Uh... And so will items within the game, like different cosmetic skins. All of that stuff is going to cost the Moonstones. We knew that from day one. Like, since the game was released, they've been very clear about that. So, I don't know why you would say it like it's a surprising negative thing when it's been extremely obvious from the get-go that that's what this is. The game will be free to play, so anybody can play it. And honestly, it has a ton of of free content. You actually don't have to spend any money. But if you enjoy the game and you want to support the game, you have that option. So far, I spent 30 bucks on the game when I bought it. You know? Uh, I spent 30 bucks on the game when it first came out and I have not had to spend a single penny since. They finally added a store, which is not a surprise. We knew that was coming. Uh, and I'm sure they'll add more so that they can encourage people to, Time to prepare uh, you menu. know, support the game further. That's the whole point. But yeah, you know, should not surprise anybody. Uh, alright, it was nothing. I mean, it really was nothing. Okay. Yo, Daniel Herrera, hello, hello, dude. Uh, so many heroes. Okay. And if you're going to write a story, I need to know every tiny detail. 
What happened on Kristoff and Donald's epic adventure? How did Kristoff survive in the woods the whole time Donald was <laughs> missing? I must know everything. I guess we can talk to Kristoff and Donald and ask them. Great idea. Why don't you do that while well, we start to figure out the acts of the script? Huh? Also, I will say, considering that um, moon tokens are the game's primary like currency, it's surprising that they're so cheap. Like fifty dollars gets you like a hundred and fifty thousand moon tokens. Like that's pretty extreme. I didn't expect. It. I thought it was going to be like a regular ratio. You know, like a thousand moon tokens is ten dollars. I thought that's how they were going to do it. But no, they actually did it much much better than that. So yeah, I don't know what wisdom's on about. Uh, John said, "I main Genshin Impact, and let me tell you something. For a free-to-play game, it this is extremely mild on microtransactions in comparison." Yeah, dude, I know. That's the funny thing. I'm surprised anybody would be like, this game's turning into a cash grab. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is that here, dude? I did not put that there. What in the frick is going on, dude? What? What happened? How? Okay, okay, bro. Yeah, let's talk to Donald. What the? F why is why is that move? Okay, we gotta get this from Donald real quick. What a small world, dude. That's so crazy. That is awesome, dude. So you've been in the industry then. Uh, it was a hummingbird. Donald got in a fight with a hummingbird. That's not very heroic. Uh, like I told you, it wasn't much of an adventure. We just kind of hung around. After that, we went to the Forgotten Lands. That's where the ground opened up and a giant sea monster grabbed Donald, right? Uh, no. Donald stepped in a puddle and splashed water everywhere. Then a frog jumped out at us. <laughs> Definitely a frog, not a cool monster. Sorry, Senpai. I wish I had something more exciting to tell you. After that, we went to the Forest of Valor and, well, you know the rest. I'm guessing Donald's version of the story sounded a bit more dramatic. Yeah, maybe so. Okay, we talked to Olaf here. Oh. Twinning, right? Not first made where it was, like from the restaurant California, pizza kitchen, not frozen in a store where you heat it up. Uh, you mean fresh? You mean house made? Okay, that's, that's common though. Like that's, you know... The only place where you're gonna get a like a the the only place where you're gonna get like a pre-made pizza is like fast food. Like I can't think of any sit down restaurants that don't make their dough and pizza in house, especially if it's like a legitimate kitchen. No one's serving frozen pizza. <laughs> uh like maybe if you called and ordered in at um I mean, dude, even Domino's bakes their pizzas fresh. I think the only place that doesn't, I think, is Pizza Hut, if I'm not mistaken. Pizza is one of the most uh, cost-effective, like, low-cost food items as far as, uh, like, profit per item. Uh, and it's also extremely easy and fast to make. I'm saying from Walmart they have frozen California pizza kitchens. Oh, that's what you're talking about? Like, the California ones? Uh, okay, I see. Yeah, you, you said it very weird. Yeah, you were you said I got my mine from California Pizza Kitchen where it was first made. And I was like, where what was first made? Like the pizza was first made? Because like how do you know it was first made there? And you said what you meant was fresh made, not frozen. Uh I have seen California pizzas in the store before. Uh but yeah. I was gonna say most Did most you places, know you know, always, always, always cooking here? fresh, so my favorite barbecue chicken pizza that I've had is from, uh, or one of the best ones. There is a really, really good pizza place um, by my old house, but they didn't have barbecue chicken pizza. But I, I actually really like Mellow Mushrooms barbecue chicken pizza. It's really good. Wait, wait. Let me close my eyes so I can picture it all in my imagination. Well, it started on the Sunlit Plateau when they faced down a dragon or possibly a hummingbird. <laughs> And that's it. That's everything Kristoff and Donald told me. But that's two completely different stories. Uh, who do you think was telling the truth? Truth is in the eye of the beholder. That's what I'm saying. 
I'm afraid that theme won't be very gripping for our audience, but they want excitement. And Donald's version of the story was much more exciting. I'm going to ask him to help me write the scripts. This is going to be a play huh? to remember. Uh, but this story has so many mm -hmm. locations. The Sunlit Plateau, the Forgotten Lands, the Force of Valor. <coughs> I really should see them all while I write so I can fully capture the ambiance. No problem. I have this thing called a camera. I can take some pictures for... Uh, okay, so we're going to have to get pictures for the scenes. Uh -huh. Okay. Ruins... So he wants me to get a picture of the pillars, the ruins. All right. The Pillar of Courage from the Forest of Valor. That's not even in the Forest of Valor anymore. <laughs> okay, that's fine, though. It's at the beach, but that's okay. Let's see... The Pillar of Courage. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this one right here. No, it's this one. That counted. The Elephant Graveyard and the Ruins and the Forgotten Lands. Okay. Well, I need to go up the Ruins anyway. Pizza sounds so good right now. Oh, wait, mine's pizza. All this pizza talk's making my stomach growl. I guess it's late for breakfast. Dude, I knew I was going to be playing this update today. So I made sure to get myself a really nice breakfast. And I made... Uh, and I made myself a breakfast sandwich, and it was so good. I had, like, six, like, thick-cut slices of bacon. Uh, two eggs, like, folded. Some cheddar cheese, like, sharp cheddar. And I just, uh... I just took some salted butter and pan seared both sides of my, my bread, and it was so good. It was such a good sandwich. I usually do not like cooking first thing in the morning because I'm tired, but it was worth it. I'm just going to throw all these in here for now. Also, I don't like that none of this is lit up, so I'm going to go, we're going to go to the evening. Whoops. Oh, wait. Where do we change the time now? It used to be under controls. They put it somewhere else. Layout, redemption code, help. Uh, redemption code, save the clown. Volume graphics. Game guide. They changed where to make it daytime, nighttime. Does anybody know where they moved that to? Because I'm not sure. Uh. Hmm. Mine is under graphics, but I didn't see it on yours. I'm on Switch. Well, mine has always been under controls. It's at the bottom of controls, but yeah, it might be under graphics now. Uh, it's probably just lower because I have way more. Yeah. So the reason you didn't see it, Izzy, is because I have way more options on PC for graphics than you do on Switch. But yeah, they moved it. We'll go... I'm gonna go to evening. Nope, not quite. A little, a little bit further. There we go. That's better. I gotta feed the birds. Gotta get all my dream light shards. this to him.
Uh, Justin, I'm having a hard time deciding. Uh, do I want steak or pasta for anniversary dinner? <laughs> Somebody said steak pasta. Okay, we got the ruins. We are the opposite. I hate cooking dinner at night when I'm tired. I mean, I don't like cooking when I'm tired either. Okay. Uh, elephant graveyard in the Sunlit Plateau. Easy peasy. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to add a large chest to each biome. Uh, there we go. I liked, I liked the day and time settings being in controls more than graphics, though, because on PC, you got to scroll like... you got to scroll so far for that. We gotta go put some stuff away. I need to make my new uh, storage room, honestly. <clears throat> I got a lot of stuff to do in this game now. There's a lot of stuff I gotta, I gotta take care of. And I got all that stuff to plant. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these. Let's see. I should probably go back home. Yeah, I should probably go put some stuff away. Let me catch this walleye while we're here. I fed the ravens. I'm so hungry. We're talking about food. Yeah, it's all. It all started with a uh, barbecue chicken pizza. We were talking about how most of us were talking about how good it was. Some people don't like it. And then we started talking about. John started talking about what what they're gonna have for their anniversary dinner. So a lot of food talk. A lot of food talk. We're still here talking about all the food. Sammy says, sorry, my fault. I mean, I love talking about food. Y'all know I don't mind. Olaf, I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to pick up sticks, okay? Just leave me alone. Leave me alone, Olaf. Uh, of course. I try to always make sure I pick up the herbs because that's one of the... Uh, I have a few foraging quests that I haven't done yet as far as the Dreamlight. I want 100% my Dreamlight missions. And I'm running slow. I just realized that. Probably because I mined a little bit. Uh, I got to eat. I got to eat something. Uh, I was going to say, I should have cooked meals. Let me get rid of all these. There we go. That's uh, more like it. Uh, have I talked to both of y'all? I think I have. Yes. And you. Yes. Okay. Good, 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 good. I'm going to make one of those frozen pizzas when I get home. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, I saw your shopping cart when you were getting groceries and... I was like, you don't have enough dinner yes, options. <laughs> I really dig my claws into a so, place like you know, this. I, I was like, pizzas. Jordan will be happy to have these eventually. Got good Jordan dinner options. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot to take a picture of the elephant graveyard. Let's do that, and then I'm going to go put some stuff away after I talk to Olaf. Look at my house now. Oh, my God, that's so sick. I kind of want to just redo my house area. Uh, but pretty soon I have to hop off. Pretty soon I have to hop off and, and put this on YouTube. Maybe we'll, like, 
finish Olaf's quest first. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Oh, wait. Required level seven. Nice. Let's go ahead and get him there. You guys, we got a first time chatter in the house. If y'all want to say hey to Big Jord here. What up, Jord? <laughs> right now, we're leveling up this little sucker, you know? Uh, gotta get him taken care of. I can do the pineapple texture, uh, but I like pineapple juice. Would be interesting to try the flavor aspect of it on pizza. You know, one of my favorite salsas would be a pineapple jalapeno. Very good. It's really easy if you want to make it at home. I like to use fresh pineapple, but if you want to, if you want a very easy version of this recipe, um, finely dice some pickled jalapenos, right? Finely dice some pickled jalapenos. Take a can of shredded pineapple. Uh, finely mint some red onions and chop some cilantro. A little pinch of uh, cumin, coriander, and salt. Mix it in there and get you a little bowl of pineapple salsa. It's really good. Chill it. Like, get it really cold. Like, really cold. Like, right above freezing. It's so good. Also, don't add too much salt because the you're... you're your chips will probably have plenty. There we go. We got all off to level seven now. <laughs> Look at how excited he is. I like peach salsa too. Peach is awesome. I like sweet salsas in general. Mango salsa is a big oh. win. I think mango salsa <laughs> is pretty common though. Uh, we haven't written any of it down. He's still working on his script here. Don't worry. That part's not too hard. Uh -huh. <sighs> okay. Roll of a lifetime. I'm kind of speeding through his quest now. Mango salsa says Anastasia. Yeah, same premise. I mean, pretty much any sweet fruit can be made into salsa. Uh, you can make it into a dip. I see mango salsa in more establishments than I see pineapple salsa, to be honest. Uh, what did he want me to do for the quest? Uh, oh, just an empty vial. I just need to craft it. Okay. There we go. Oh, you should, Anastasia. It's so good. High quality paper. Purple ink. Okay. All right, what now? Bring the high quality paper and ink to Donald Duck. Oh, because Donald's going to write a script. Right. The good old script writer, Donald Duck. For some reason, I can't work my oven today. You forgot how to set it. <laughs> one of those days, huh? It's one of those days. Gusto said anyway. Whack. <laughs> you say I'm whack. What's the big idea? He wants me to write down the whole story, too? Grumble, grumble. Oh, and he wanted me to ask you one more thing. Will you star in the play as yourself? That's it. Olaf's making me do too much work. <laughs> Donald's my spirit animal. I had to tell him the story over and over and over again while eating popcorn. You too, huh? Now he wants me to write it all down for him? And star in the hardest role in the whole play? Wow, he just said his role is the hardest role in the whole play. <laughs> You think playing yourself would be hard? <clears throat> Are you sure you don't just have stage fright? I suppose it would be hard to keep up with your energy. I guess that's fair. You're very complex and layered. I'm gonna go with that. Exactly. It would take me weeks to get into character for it. I'm done. Tell Olaf he can write the script himself. And he better find somebody good to play Donald Duck because Donald Duck's not going to do it. <laughs> Bye. Bro. Huh? 
Donald doesn't want to star as himself on the play. Well, that's okay. Between you and me, I wasn't sure he had the acting skill to be convincing. What is wrong? What is wrong with these two? What is wrong with these two? Uh, but now we'll need to find someone else to play him. Someone who can capture his... <laughs> courage, pluckiness, or good looks. Someone who can capture his good looks. Yeah, Donald isn't fit to play Donald. They just said he said, oh, can I fly? <laughs> yeah, that really got me too, Anastasia. He was just like freaking out and angry, talking about how Olaf wants him to do too much. And then as soon as I walk away, he just sounded like totally fine. Donald isn't fit to play Donald. Okay. Oh. Scrooge McDuck! Well, we'll need an audition for at least a few people. We should find people who can capture Donald's courage. <laughs> yeah, we should get Buzz Lightyear to audition. Okay. Uh, pluckiness? Oh. Uh, no one as plucky as Anna. Oh my god, dude. Please get Anna to play Buzz. Or get get Anna. Bro, please get Anna to play Donald Duck. Anna has to play Donald, bro. She has, she has to. She has to. Okay. Uh. We gotta find them all. There's Buzz. Okay, where's the first? Scrooge first. Olaf, where are you coming from? Have we talked yet? Hello. No, mm -hmm. we haven't. Also, I need to be doing my duties. Carrots, garnets, topaz. Give Goofy his favorite gifts. I still haven't done that yet. My God. Remove night thorns. At least we're working on that. Good day, dear. We'll knock all that out really fast, though. Uh, hmm. And what? What'll the salary be? That's the first thing he asked, bro. The salary for the play. This man. The man is not even an actor. The duck. Scrooge McDuck is not even, he's not even an actor. And he, he already, I love an adoring, the love of an adoring crowd. The satisfaction of a job well done or zero star coins. He's going to refuse. I, we should have told Olaf that we have to offer something to Donald Duck. I, I mean, uh, Scrooge McDuck. Like, I'm going to say zero oh. star coins. Ugh. Ouch. Uh, or, oh. Uh, doesn't sound like there's much profit in acting here, is there? Mm. Well, how much of my time will be needed to invest? Uh, mm -hmm. well, you'll need to learn all the lines, attend rehearsals, and do the performances. It'll be a lot of work. Ugh. Curse me kilts. Sounds like you want me to invest hours of my very valuable time Mustn't for no return. Sun, dear. Uh, Terrible for the complexion. Okay, mommy, please be quiet. I'll have to think on it. What's the part? Donald Duck. You want me to play my nephew Donald? No deal. Even if the returns were worth my time, I can nay begin to fathom the workings of that lad's mind. <laughs> Best of luck finding someone who can. Goodbye now. Toodaloo. That was savage. And he's not wrong. Oh, hello. We haven't talked today, have we? Thank you. You're very uh, kind. I need to give the presents. I need to give some presents to, uh, you know, we'll work on the event quest. We'll work on the event quest later. It's fine. For now, let's just get going here. We gotta go talk to Buzz and we gotta go talk to Anna. So how do I run? He said you can sprint. Somebody said there was a sprinting option, but like I don't, I don't know. They said up on the controller, but I don't know. 
What were y'all saying about sprinting? I don't, I don't know what y'all were. Somebody said there was an option to s like sprint now. I don't know what they were referring to. I'm very confused. I'm gonna figure it out though. I always gotta get these fish when I come here. No. Up on the D-pad is always the same thing. It opens your uh, buffs and debuffs menu. Shows you what your villager companion does. It's always done this. It says your companion can find more minerals than you mine. And it also tells you well-fed, increased movement speed. It's always done that. So I don't know. Um... Maybe whoever was saying that, like, didn't know that it's always done that, and you just always run fast when you have gold. I don't know. Yeah, somebody was in the chat talking about it earlier. But I don't think it's a thing, because I've, I've pushed all the buttons, and yeah. I think they just weren't aware that it's always worked that way. All right, Buzz. Oh, and we just left. That's that's great. Let's try again. Round two. Round two. Excuse me. Hello. What's the role? Donald Duck. <laughs> uh, thank you. I'm flattered. Oh. Perhaps I should audition for you right now. Uh, okay, but it's actually Olaf that you need to. Ahem. Just getting into character. Hello there. I am Donald Duck. <laughs> Uh, could you try it with a little bit more Donald Duckishness? Of course. Let me take it again from the top. Uh. Hello there. I am Donald <laughs> <laughs> Duck. Uh, your talents would be wasted on local theater. You really think so? Thanks, senpai. It's almost like we stepped inside by. Okay, well, time to leave. He didn't have what it took. I still think Anna's the best, which is why I saved her for last. Also, while we're here, Olaf, let's get some iron. You know what it is. You know I love that sweet, sweet iron. All day, every day. Just getting my iron. Always. There we go. And before we get off today, I need to record like a little uh, intro bit for the video that kind of covers all the new stuff. Like all the new stuff we've seen so far. I'm assuming, well, I know, um, Jennifer mentioned there's a new pet, and it's not the bunny rabbit in the star path. So I'm betting it's tied to Mirabelle's quest, quest line. So we got to do that as well. I'm going to try to do that. Hey, I forgot I... What up, dude? What's up, my froggy companion? Good to see you. Good to see you. I got to get these white sturgeons when I can, because that means more dream shards from the foxes. Oh, it's raining. Well, it's snowing here, but that means it's raining everywhere else in the valley. All right, let's find Anna. There she is. Yo. Oh, uh, what up? Hi. Would you be interested in auditioning for the role of Donald Duck? Yes. Uh, yes, of course I would. That's such a complex role. Plus, I'd love to help Olaf. Great. Uh, just make sure that you rehearse a lot so you can capture Donald <laughs> Duck perfectly. Oh, I definitely will. Ahem. What's the big idea? Or, hey, what's the big idea? Hmm. She's got what it takes. I believe. I told you guys. I told you guys. She has what it takes. 
Hoping you have a frogtastic day, shirts. Did you already forget what we said yesterday? We spoke about this yesterday. I said that um, I would be do I would have to do them today, and I'd have to do them after my stream because we had the big update stream. Uh, there's the big, there's the big Disney Dreamlight, Disney Dreamlight Valley update today, uh, and I had to I had to go live at 9 a.m. So I had to wake up, make breakfast, go live. So I was telling you that I was gonna DM you a link to the shirts once I made them tonight. Uh, so you're right all along. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I promised you the shirts yesterday, and I told you they'd be, uh, I'd have them, I'd, I'd make them tonight. Because uh, there's no way I could make them last night since I was broadcasting. And then uh, made dinner and went to bed. And then I had to get up super early today. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to be up late last night because I had to, um, I had to get up super early today. How am I supposed to know? I, you know I can't read sarcasm. <laughs> Stop messing with me. Lunarcy, hello. Lunarcy's here as well. Fourth day in a row. Lunarcy's been hanging out with us. Very nice. Uh, Mr. McDuck said the pay wasn't worth it. Buzz, I don't know if he has the range for this mm -hmm. role. What about Anna? She said she'd love to audition. I think she'd be great. I'm sure Anna will be perfect for the role. Let's get her audition right now. Oh my God, bro. Here she comes. Oh, she's about to audition for the role. Nah, but I got you tonight. I'm going to send you a link. Uh, it should not be hard for me to make, though. <laughs> I'm just going to Photoshop a frog face on top of my face. Hi, Olaf. I'm here to audition for your play. Wonderful. Here's the script. I'll be Kristoff. Oh, boy. Oh. It's very dramatic. I know. All right. Places, everyone, and begin. No, Donald, don't jump through that mysterious portal. It's too dangerous. Aw, oh, phooey, I'm not afraid of no portal. I'll get right, I'll get that orb. Oh, that's not good. I'll get that orb, I'll encourage back myself out of my way. Okay, okay. I've heard enough. <laughs> Congratulations, Anna. You are our new Donald Duck. Wow, that was great. Oh, come on. Sarcasm is the best form of joy. That doesn't mean I can read it. <laughs> doesn't mean I can read. I like sarcasm when I can hear it. You know? I can understand it. All right, Olaf. Did you see how well that went? But she barely said anything. Don't worry, I can feel the magic, and the audience will too. You've saved this production, Sibai. Now we just need some time to practice. No, we don't need time to practice. We need you to hit level 10 right now. Uh, oh yay! We get the amazing Anna playing Don the daring Donald Duck. Yes, Aquarius, this is what I wanted. This is exactly what I was hoping for. You know, this is a dream come true. The role Anna was born for. <laughs> okay. Yay! He's so excited. Look at him. He just loves these flowers. This is going to take a little while, but that's okay. Uh, did I already give him his favorite gifts for the day? Oh, I actually got a gold nugget for you, homie. There you go. Boom. Big old chunk of, uh, you know, friendship right there. All right. But yeah, I'm going to send it to you via a, uh, I forgot I'll send it to you via a DM today. It'll probably be sometime around like seven or eight. I'm just going to make it, uh, like Yay! whatever the whatever the base charge is for Streamlabs. Oh, by the way, did you? How did you? What did you want again? A T-shirt? Is that what you wanted? Nothing but nothing frog. But frog. <laughs> nothing. 
bro. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I forgot I coming in with a big love here. Chat, can we get some? Can we get some love in the chat here? I forgot I dropping a very, very, very kind and generous twenty dollar bomb on us. Thank you, my dude. I appreciate you. This man coming in with a big love here. Thank you, bro. Uh, Aquarius said, oh, yay, we get... Oh, yeah, we read that. We read that earlier. Uh, Sammy, Kristen, <laughs> dropping the love. Thank you, you guys. We can get more love than that. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We got Dana Herrera. Uh, I got Ashley dropping... Wait, no, that's Sammy again. Well... I see three of you guys dropping love in the chat. I'm gonna cry. Huh? I'm, I'm literally about to cry right now. You know, I forgot I makes this wonderful stream possible for you today, huh? you know? You know, you guys have been able to check out this whole update, you know? It's been amazing, you know? And, and I forgot I makes it all possible. And only three people drop love in the chat. I'm gonna go cry. No, I'm just kidding. I know it takes, you know, more of you guys are lurking right now. Most of you guys are, like, at work. <laughs> but there's actually a lot more than three of you. Heather Girardi, thank you for the love as well. Oh. Rebecca, thank you, thank you. Let's keep on giving him flowers. We're almost there. We're almost <gasps> to level 10. I'm probably going to try to just go ahead and knock out Mirabelle and Olaf today. So it can all be in the video. Twitch froze for me, so I had to restart. Nice. Uh, learn something new. I never knew today. If you store lemons with a clove of garlic, go make the garlic. Uh, it will make the garlic mold. How you scrounge it? And oh, we gotta move these. I'm sitting here and eating rice. Yum! I like rice. Let's put this here. Izzy coming in with the love as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big love for I forgot. Uh, I forgot I here. Thanks again, Daniel. Really appreciate the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making the stream possible today. Uh, big shout out to both John uh, and I forgot I. Uh, John and Daniel here uh, with the top donors of the day. Very, very generous, very kind. Thank you for making the stream possible. Uh. You know, another fun fact, speaking of making things turn, Aquarius, did you know that as tomatoes ripen, they release a gas and it can it can expedite the ripening process of other foods? So if you were to buy avocados that were not quite ripe yet and they were still too hard, you can put them in a brown paper bag uh, with some tomatoes and just leave them and they'll ripen much faster. Fun fact. Yay! If you didn't know that, now you do. I'm like Olaf. I'm just going to give you completely need unnecessary, uh, you know, completely unnecessary life facts and tips. Uh, we're almost there. Almost to level nine. Woohoo! Now we just got to do all of Mirabelle's quests after this. Oh, that's why I'm called a tomato. Got it. I just need a brown back. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Yay! How did you get that out of what I said there? Okay, though. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, hurry up. Ooh. All off. It's very time consuming. Yay! Uh, yeah, I store avocados with them. I never store mine with them because I always buy mine ripe. And if you store them, if you always buy them underripe, then it's a good way to do it if you want to ripen them really fast. But uh, I don't want them to. I don't want them to oxidize or, or over ripen because then they'll just mold and turn bad too fast. So I almost never. I only store my uh, tomatoes with avocados. Also, it has to be done at room temp, not in the fridge. I only store my avocados uh, with tomatoes at room temp like that when they're completely underripe. And I usually buy ripe avocados and prep them immediately. I usually don't buy avocados unless I'm like ready to do something with them almost right away. Oh! Yeah, I just make guac. I make I, if I if I'm planning to make guac, I get the avocados same day and prep them same day. 
Uh, how do we change the color of our house? So, Chris, if you go into the... If you're outside and you go into the editing mode, like where you place furniture, you select your house, and then you're going to see an option to, like, change it. Yeah, I love... I love making guac. Yo, David, what up, what up? Mm. Welcome, David, welcome. David, with the fresh follow here. Thank you, my dude. Yeah. Well, normally you hire Pink Panther, says I forgot I. For what? <laughs> normally, to do? Wait, to change the color of your house? <laughs> Bro, I don't even know how to feel about that. Mm. Or do we hire Pink Panther to ripen our avocados? I don't know. Oh. I'm happy for this update. Me too, my friend. Me too. Very exciting things in the update. There's a lot of really cool stuff. There's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to be able to do for a while. I'm trying to get most of the details of the update uh, wrapped up today so I can make a YouTube video of it ASAP. Like before the uh, day is over. I'm going to put the stream itself up. I'm just going to cut out some parts of the stream. But I'm going to put the stream itself up. Um, and yeah, I'm going to basically show, I'm going to go through like both quest lines, talk about what's new in the game. <laughs> but I don't want to be live too long. Yeah. Uh, I just unlocked Olaf, uh, or no, you just need to unlock Olaf. You got Mirabel. Yeah, I got Olaf and Mirabelle right now. I'm about to get Olaf to level 10 so I can finish this quest line. Then I'm going to work on Mirabelle a little bit. Uh, oh, both work. Uh, hey, is He's probably good for other things, too. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, I'm about to hop off my game because I have to do photos for my friend's gender reveal. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. All right, Olaf, you're almost there, buddy. I'm going to need more flowers. Yeah. All right, let's get... Uh, we got two greens here. I think I do have some flowers. There's a lot of greens, actually. Mm -hmm. I get nine more. I don't think I'll be able to do all of. Um, I think I don't think we're gonna be, we're gonna be able to do all of Mirabelle's uh, quest line. I should probably make a few different videos out of the content of this. To be honest, I really want to play Hogwarts Legacy today, but. I don't think I'm gonna have time. I think I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna want to put out a good bit of video content uh, for the update uh, for YouTube. It's probably what I'm gonna do with the second half of my day, pretty much all day. I want to explain a lot of the questions I get, like how to upgrade your house, uh, what gems to use for uh, Olaf's mission. Okay, he's almost leveled up. Let's grab a few more flowers for the guy. So I don't know if I'll be able to do all of Mirabelle's quest today. Well, at least get Olaf done. Uh, more green. Oh my god, so many. Hmm? All right, he's almost level 10. I have to wait until July to get my copy of Hogwarts, says David. Are you? What are you playing it on? Um. Uh, let's see. Sammy said I knew. Uh, that was off. Why did I gamble? Habit. <laughs> oh yeah, it is off. Oh, you're getting on a switch. Oh man. You know, Hogwarts Legacy will still probably be kind of cool. Oh. Um. Uh -huh. 
on Switch. Uh, but I definitely, I, it's just going to be a different game, unfortunately. Um, I try to encourage most of my friends to, you know, as far as the gamers I know, um, I know it's not easy to upgrade your platforms or consoles, but yeah, I, I personally, the game will probably still be kind of fun on Switch, but it's going to, the graphics are going to be horrible. And it's going to be very... It's, the, the Switch cannot render that many characters at once. So it's going to be very limited, unfortunately. Um, so if you've been watching the gameplay... Like, if you've been watching Hogwarts Legacy on Twitch, and you think it looks cool, just keep in mind, the game you're going to be getting on Switch is not the same game that you've seen. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Uh, Sam, Samim, is that right? Sam, welcome, my friend. Welcome. Thank you so much. Appreciate being here. All right, we got all off to level ten. Let's finish this. Mm -hmm. My nose is itchy and my eyelid won't stop twitching. Um, it might be drugs, bro. Simba, mm. I think I might be experiencing anxiety. Uh, sorry, but I'm busy right now. I'm going to say that. Oh, okay. I guess part of getting older is learning to deal with my stress on my own. Oh, never mind. I <laughs> literally huh? just... Okay, we'll, we'll actually do it. Not going to help. Uh, well, we've got the stage and our script and our cast, but we don't have any props or, or sets. Uh, we need scenery to make a stage look like a forest of valor. Tell me somebody, would you say you're uh, artistically inclined? Uh... Definitely. I'm going to oh. make some great cutouts. Our channel is boundless. Uh, it'll be great. Get some dry wood. Uh, green passion lilies. White impatience. Orange marsh milkweed. Uh, and I'll keep picturing it uh, as I go find props. Why you make all that? Easy. Yeah, that's right. Easy peasy. Button brigade. What up, what up? My coworker already completed it. Um, I'm going to ask Hubby again about a Steam Deck so I can get it. Are you talking about Hogwarts Legacy, Sammy? Yeah. Um, beating the game is not going to take you too long, but I guarantee you, your coworker uh, has definitely not done everything that you can do in the game. Uh, that that game's going to have like thousands of like th it's like Skyrim, you know. So, like, you can beat the story in about 30 hours, you know? Like, if you just if you just run the story and nothing else. Um, I mean, Sage uh, lost his job, and he dumped 80 hours into the game, and he's, like, bare he, there's still, like, you know... He was like, yeah, I'm done with the game. I was like, you mean you're done with the story? And he was like, yeah, you're right. I still have to do literally everything else, like... I think he did all the Merlin posts and he did the story, but there's still like, Ooh, you know, sunshine. so many areas for him to explore. The game is like Skyrim, you know. Being done with the game is not really, you know, that's not really something you could do unless you put, you know, probably a few hundred hours in it and it hasn't been out long enough for anybody to do that yet. Uh, Alright, let's see. I'm just supposed to craft, right? Yeah. He just finished the story then. Yeah. I mean, that's... I, I, I could be... I've, I've, I could be done with the story right now if I just focused on the story and nothing else. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't see the point of getting a game like that and just doing the story. But a lot of people will finish the story and then say they're done with the game to, like, flex. Like, that's what Sage was trying to do yesterday when he came here. He was like... Oh, this game? <laughs> I'm done with it. I'm like, no, you're not. You're, you're done with the story. That's literally... That, that's that's what you've done. You know? <laughs> I know you think it's a big flex to come here and say you beat Hogwarts Legacy already. But, you know, you can say you beat it, but you didn't... You're not done with it. You know? Like, maybe you're done with it, but you're not done with it. Like he, and he was like, yeah, I'm still going to be playing it. I'm like, then why did you just come in here and say you're done with it? You know you're not. <laughs> you know you're just trying to flex that you beat the story mode already, which 
It's not really a flex. The game's kind of easy. It's just fun. Like, it's beautiful. I don't want to just rush the story so I could try to flex. <laughs> be like, look at me, I'm fast. Like, okay, go be a speedrunner. Here you go. You're going to need to shave some time off, though. These are perfect. We still have the same, but there's one final thing. I forget there will be. The costumes. We need a Donald Duck mask. Oh, my God. I knew Anna was going to be wearing a Donald Duck mask. This is going to be so perfect. Uh, What do we need for this? Talk to Anna. Oh, my God. Where are you? Everybody's moving around so much. There you are. Hey, slow down. Oops, I'm the wrong way. There she goes. She's waiting for me. Would you like to do something together? Uh, I want you to wear a duck mask and say quack quack. That would make me happy. Uh, I, yeah. Um, Olaf hmm. is really specific about what he wants it to look like. <laughs> Sounds a little strange to me, but <laughs> I'm like, Anna, I want you to wear a duck mask and say quack quack. Daddy, quack quack. She said it sounds a little strange to me, but who am I to question this artistic vision? Uh -huh. We'll need fiber, softwood, and fabric. <laughs> and some of Donald's feathers. Oh, my God. I guess I could just pluck a few uh -huh. off of them. Uh, please don't do that. Let me think. Well, if we look around for strands of my hair, uh, you check my hairbrush. Whoa. Maybe he has some feathers awesome. at his house. Oh, boy. I got to go to Donald's Remember, house and get feathers. Search Donald's house for feathers. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I just wanted to pluck them off, to be honest. I wanted to pluck the feathers off of them. That would have been fun. Yeah, same here. Aquarius, same here. Oh, yeah. Wasn't there a bug with this? Mine worked fine. Somebody said, the dev said there was a bug with the, maybe on Switch or something. 50 though, they used to only give me 30, that's cool. Okay. I know, that's why I wanted to do it. That's why I wanted to do it, Midna. I wanted to pluck his feather so bad. There we go. Now I gotta get fiber and, and fabric. They're actually going to make me gather at this time. Ah, where am I? <laughs> I'm in a hole. That's okay. We're going to fast travel. Uh, let's go to my house to get the rest of the stuff. There's a bug with mirror belt. You're on Switch, though. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't ran into any bugs, but I've had a lot of people on Switch reporting bugs to me. A lot of people tell me about a bug, and I'm like, they're like, oh, somebody don't do this today. Because there's there's a bug. I'm like, I'm on PC. I'll be fine. The only bug I've ever ran into since this game came out, ever, was my game would freeze when my map would open. And also, I was I once got some duplicate quest items I could never get rid of. That's the only thing I've ever I've ran into. Uh, Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, I just gotta get stuff. Yeah. My mic is slightly out of sync again. There we go. That's more like it. I hate it when that happens. It drives me crazy. Okay. Uh, fiber and plastic. Okay. Or no, plastic. <laughs> Uh, fiber and fabric. I said plastic. There we go. Bring what you've gathered to Anna. I gotta take it to Anna? Dang it. No wonder I couldn't just craft it. It's because it has to go to Anna. She's gonna make it, I guess. Now, where's Anna? Where are you, Anna? There you are.
your game froze. Well, Jennifer, it depends on what kind of PC you have. See, what's your GPU? Uh, I don't think you have, like, a... I don't think you have, you know... Like, people could have issues on PC if they're playing with, like, uh, you know, depending on what kind of PC they're playing on. Not all PCs are the same. I don't have problems on my PC, but I have extremely up-to-date drivers, and I have a strong <laughs> GPU, and I have uh, 32 gigs of RAM. Like, I don't think we have the same computer. You know what I mean? Like, you being on PC, not necessarily the same thing as me being on PC, and I'm not trying to flex. I'm just saying I'm a full-time content creator, so, of course, I have a good, good PC. Um, you know, you playing on PC, you might encounter bugs, but... I, I doubt I doubt I'm gonna encounter as many as you. You know what I mean? Uh Alright, let's see. I haven't had any bugs. My point still stands that, you know, hey, Switch gets a lot here. of bugs, but if you you know, depending on what kind of PC you have, you might get, you might get bugs. Or even depending on what I, I mean, you can have an old PlayStation and have bugs on PlayStation. You can have an old Xbox and get bugs on Xbox. If you have, like, relatively good uh, or high-end equipment, like if you're playing on PS5 or Xbox Series X or a, a gaming PC with a 2080 Super better and 32 gigs of RAM, you're probably not going to run into issues. The game is very optimized for these. It will occasionally crash, though. I mean, you know, every copy of the game does that, whether it's on PC or, um, you know, it'll, it'll happen on all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. But I almost never run into, into bugs. Also, the game crashing, um, you know, or freezing is not really a bug. Uh, that's just a crash. The mask I built is exactly to Olaf's expectations, but it doesn't fit well. I think the Switch version of... I honestly think the Switch version of Hogwarts Legacy is going to be bug riddled. I don't see how that game's going to work. I can't see out of the eye holes and the feathers keep poking me. I'm sorry, Sibai. I don't think I'm going to be able to wear this. Uh -huh. Olaf wanted to find someone else to play Donald Duck if he wants me to wear this costume. <sighs> Could you break the bad news to him? Oh my god. Oh great. Make me the one to break this little snowman's heart. I'm really sorry. Yeah. But I'm sure there's someone else uh, here who would wear the mask perfectly. Here it is. Oh my god, look at that mask, bro. <laughs> Ooh, thanks. Is he gonna make me play the role? Like, am I gonna have to be Donald Duck? That is definitely a wearable item. They're going to make me wear it. I'm going to have to do this. I'm... It's on me. He's right here. Now I'm going to have to do this. Hmm? Uh, it doesn't fit on us. She can't see out of it. We'll need to find someone else to play the role. Oh, no. The show will be ruined. Villagers are already buying their tickets and starting to gather. Deep breath, in and out. Okay, who else could play <laughs> Donald Duck? We need someone who's brave and plucky and leaps into danger without a thought for themselves. And, <laughs> and uh, Senpai, would you try on this Donald Duck mask? <laughs> I was waiting for you to ask. I'd be the perfect star. Oh, no. No way. Please, no. I can't. <sighs> if you need me to, I'll do it. Those are the three <laughs> options. I'm going to say... Uh, Sigh, if you need me to, I'll do it. Hooray! I see one big problem. I don't know the lines. Oh, that's okay. You can just make them up. The most important thing is embodying the character. Uh, here, put on the Donald Duck mask and rehearse. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, this mask. Bro. <laughs> Bro, what the... F You're doing great, senpai. Hang in there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing great. Can I take a picture with this? Oh. I'm not trying to move my hand. Make sure you do nothing. You're going to save that. <laughs> and... Yeah, let's see. 
Let's do one with a little Dreamlight Valley Magic on it. There we go. Wow. Oh my god, that's just... Oh, that, that is so Donald Duck. Oh my gosh. Let's rehearse. I really feel like Donald right now. Donald Duck, is that you? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Sibai. I know it's you under there, but you look wonderful. <gasps> From a few feet away, someone could really mistake you for the actual Donald Duck. I look nothing like Donald Duck. I can hardly see in this thing. I agree... I doubt it. I'm going to say I agree. Yeah, I definitely look like Donald, in my opinion. Uh, okay, let's rehearse. <laughs> Aha! It is I, the courageous woodsman and ice deliverer Kristoff. <laughs> and I'm... And I'm... Uh, I'm... Ronald Ruck. <laughs> the valiant hero, Donald Duck. The dashing debonair. Donald Duck. And I'm the dashing <gasps> debonair Donald Duck. Great job so far, Zibai. Together, my feathered friend and I are on a quest to stop the forgetting and restore the valley. <gasps> Who's that over there? <gasps> it's some sort of dark entity stealing the orb of courage. <gasps> Psst, it's time for your big line, Zibai. The options, bro. <laughs> I gotta show you this. We got a regular Donald line. Ah, fooey! To infinity and beyond! <laughs> Wally! <laughs> I'm gonna say... <laughs> Wally. <laughs> um, I think that's more of a Wally thing to say, but I, I like that you're experimenting. <laughs> Quick! The dark entity is escaping through the mysterious portal. <laughs> Psst, okay, Sabai. It's time for your big stunt. Leap into the air like you're jumping through a portal into a dark, mysterious world. Don't worry, I'll nail this part. I'll stop you, vile villain! Oh, they didn't show it. That stunt was very convincing. <gasps> As for your performance overall... <laughs> You've made some bold choices that are sure to be divisive with the audience, but I like them. <laughs> yeah, I think saying Wally is probably the funniest part of the play. Now, all we need to do is set up the stage and Frosted Hide so we can put on the play. Give me the stage. Thank God. Place the stage anywhere in Frosted Heights. Anywhere. Now, this is a great day to play outside. Now, this is a great day to play. Woody, if you don't get yourself out of the snow, you're going to you're gonna freeze. Okay, bucko. Shouldn't even be out here chilling in the snow like this. The sled center. I'm going to put the stage here. I I look like the most elegant, beautiful Donald Duck. This is just the prettiest face. This is so convincing. Oh my god, I get to play as Donald Duck? Wow, I'm actually Donald Duck now? Did this so cool they can let you play as the villagers. Oh wait, never mind. Never mind, that's just a costume. I uh, oh I that ah uh, that really ah uh, man, I thought that was me. I thought I got to be Donald for a second. That was cool. Okay, here we go. Alright, we got the stage down. Yo Eliza, hello. I can't see anything. <laughs> there we go. Uh, <laughs> all right. I wanna, I wanna do this. <laughs> Rawr, I'm Donald Duck. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> and we're gonna do. Uh, 
A little Dreamlight Valley tag. Yeah, I like that. That one's pretty good. I want to be able to see my face, though. Really capture the Donald duckiness here of what's going on here. Look, Donald Duck's like pointing. I'm trying to be a very convincing Donald Duck. <laughs> I'm screaming inside that thing. I just want a good picture, you know? All right. Make sure we get the pose right. Wait till he looks down. I'll wait till my character looks down a little. I think he'll look down. Oh uh, yeah, Goofy's hands up like that. That's a good one. This is beautiful. Scar's like smiling. He loves it. Must save that. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Try to get another one here. Uh, I can also change the format. Wait, is it gone? Okay, there we go. Okay, now we can do this, right? Like a ha, Donald Duck. Oh ho ho. Oh my god, they got a, there's a little raccoon in the cutout. Yeah, that's beautiful right there. That's that's it. That's money right there. We did not learn from Buzz mission not to let Scrooge make costumes. Yeah, you know. Or not to let, uh, well, I don't even think Scrooge made this one. This one was made by, uh, Anna, I think. Uh, I want to really get that face. Wait, I know how to do it. I got to go up like this. Yeah, and then zoom in to get the camera to go up. It's kind of a pain. Then we go. Then I go forward. It won't let me go forward anymore. Dang it. Well, will this way. Uh, now it won't let me go down. Okay. I want to get right up in that face. But I want. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Now that's that's a beautiful shot. That's a beautiful shot right there. Look at that. <laughs> this is great. This is a great time. I just really like I wish I could just start throwing a classic Donald Duck temper tantrum right now. That would make me so happy. Even the fox is here to watch. Look at him. Here we go. All right, we saved enough. That's enough. That's definitely enough pictures. Yo, Brittany, hello, hello. Oh, my God. Donald, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's not how I act. Did you not like the play? 
Look, I'm your twin. You made it. You seem excited today. What's up? Caught a kingfish and it weighed a whole 50 pounds. And it was twice as long as your arms. Sounds a little fishy. You don't believe me? Go see for yourself and catch one if you're such a fishing expert. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. All right. Also, I, we brought joy back to the valley. So many villagers came to see our play. Anna, Buzz, Donald, Samantha. Who's Samantha? Uh, I'm not sure, but I hope she enjoyed the play. Uh, what, bro? Sammy, he's talking about you? How did he know about Sammy? You're watching on the, on the, on the, on the, he knows you're, he, he's like, you're in the stream. He knows you came to the play. He said he's not sure who you are, but he hopes you enjoyed it. Bro, this is messing with my head right now. Uh, I feel like we didn't just tell a score We lived oh. one. Uh, we did, and I want you to take the stage and the, all the cutouts we made. Oh, thank you. You can keep the stuff. Now you can use them to decorate the village however you'd like. <laughs> oh, kind of like when I made that telescope for Wally, and then he put it inside of his house. That was fun. Oh, I got that last thing. <laughs> uh, before me, Elsa made permafrost. She gave me uh, a flurry to follow me around so I wouldn't melt. And I asked her to make you one just <laughs> like it. No way, dude. Olaf's gift is awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, we get... I wonder if it's a pet. Oh, I try to hit try it. I wonder if the flurry acts as a companion. Uh, whoops. I hope so. What, bro? We got the scary squirrel. Hold up, bro. We got a little scary squirrel up in here. Yo, that's sick. He la he even laughs. Dude, I love them. Look at him. That's so sick. What the heck? Yeah, we got Mirabelle, Mary. We got Mirabelle, and we just finished Olaf's quest. Uh, We got Olaf to level 10 and finish this storyline. I'm about to get some progress in with Mirabelle, too, before I get off. Uh, So, how... Okay, so... Would his cloud thing be a hat? Like, I wanted to hit try it, but I didn't hit it fast enough. Let's take this off. So where's Olaf's... Maybe we'll just look at all. Where in the heck is the Olaf cloud? Bro, it's not even in clothing. I'm really confused. He said it would follow me around. It's not in all... Not in here. Maybe it's a furniture item. It doesn't follow you around. It's just something you put somewhere. seeing it here. I would ask, but I feel like... Oh, there it is. Permafrost cloud. So it is... Oh, that's cool. So I could probably buy these from Scrooge since they're... That's cute, though. That's 
That's really fun. I'm kind of sad that it doesn't follow me around, but this is pretty neat right here. Uh, I love that I got a little shadow squirrel. That's really fun. Come on, shadow squirrel. Does he not like me? I don't think my, my shadow squirrel likes me very much. Can I give him love? Oh my god, bro. Like I got Olaf immediately stood under his permafrost cloud. That's cool. See a little Olaf cloud here. Cool. All right. He's super cute with the little the little evil squirrel. Yeah, he's awesome. 